check me out now. Turn up the smooth operator, shoddy on repeat. I say sleep later. This another favor. Consider me your neighbor. Lost a lot of fam in pursuit of the paper. She gon' catch the vapors when we slide by. The way I speak my mind, it's like I peak my prime, but I ain't close. I cruise through the night air. Fantasy a dream. Real world is a nightmare. Like Claire battle in the brainless. Learn to live shameless. Talk about me a lot, but claim that I'm nameless. You aimless. So I'm a style on them. They washed up. It's a rap, throw the tile on them. Gaining my on them. Otakus for the win, tacos in the pen on a move that I'm in like Ben when it's time for adventure. This some new blue, get ready to enter my mind for a few. Come and take a ride with the crew. I'ma show you how to recoup days lost when you vibe with the blue. Uh, come vibe with the blue. Yeah. About time to regroup. Fly, got my eyes on the view. Never hear lies, only truth. Realize why they vibe with the blue. Vibe with the blue. Still get requests. I'm playing Zelda on the GameCube. I quit spamming my music. Don't ever try forcing the links. That's a high rule. The wind wake of Mother Nature on my side too, controlling the elements. Go and check my avatar. I'm arrows ahead. Get the point moving forward. The battle scars accumulated over time. Our reminders of what I went through as a miner. Made me a grinder. The trees broke down, but it's loose leaf. If life's a game of death, I'm loose sleep all way. Loose sleep on the regular. Trying to get this word out. Then I crash. Never Love. Wish I had a very odd parent, maybe two, but it's cool. Everybody pays dues. Now it's time to make moves. Granny didn't raise me to lose. I think I'm in the mood for a cruise. Wanna ride? Come and vibe with the blue. 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 Come vibe with the Check this out, y'all. Back spasm like the elderly. Worth of my cousin Beverly. Never swear away from the truth. Just ask Heather. Be weather, be tripping. Strong and look control like our destiny. Always give you the best of me. Until the death of me, my weaponry is a paintbrush. Hush. Don't tell my secret. They get a hold of you. If you leak it, get it? Got you covered though, look. But let me get back to that cool ish, Lucius. Why they still lying? They don't do this. Bad at board games, whole world clueless. Selling their soul for roof, Chris. Who's this honor fella? Need a slice, extra mozzarella. Cool fly, let God prepare. So mad at he born like they don't trust fun. Why you dodge to tell her? You don't know, but my eyes are better. Life's a gamble, depending on who holding the cards. You can start living at large or it's bon voyage. Charge it to the game. Me and you ain't the same. I'm thinking bigger pictures. Why you still? Shrinking the frame, ever blinking the rain. Uh, it helps when your eyes dry. Mob with the bright minds. Think you funny, wise guy? <laughs> Midnight Marauder with a new tribe. Tired of the fake. Come and vibe with the blue sky. <laughs> Come and vibe with the blue sky. Why do you try? We get them high. Uh, take them high. Yeah. I do. Come and vibe with the blue. Yeah. Come and vibe with the blue. Pass what up? Vibe with the. ever happened, ever will happen, ever could happen, and yet, what the hell is this? Are you ready? Word the wise, grass only greener when it's fertilized. Gave them truth in these songs, they prefer the lies. Destiny beautiful, adrift in her purple lies. You can't see me, you see me. Wondering how I reach more evolutions than Evie. And make it look easy. Eh, dream on, dream on, yeah. 
Dream on, dream, dream weaver I What is up, Earth's mightiest subscribers? It's your boy, Ernie. Blur without fear. Uh, Sands, uh, the homie Carter presents, uh, who will not be joining us today. Welcome to episode 243 of the Blur Cave, the number one comic book news stream on this or any other Earth in the multiverse, which you can also find, as I say all the time, on not just YouTube, you can find it on Amazon. You can find it on Google. You can find it on Apple. You can find it on Amazon. Pretty much anywhere good podcasts may be found. And if you do, make sure you leave us a rating. Uh, yeah, Carter will not be joining us today because he had a prior engagement to uh, go to. I can't really talk about what that is because there are some uh, very strict NDAs in place regarding it. Just know, he is at a game test right now. So, yeah. And it was a game test that uh, once he told me what it was, I encouraged him to do so. So, that's all I will say on that. Um, that said... <laughs> That said, oh man, it says when was when was the last time I ran a blurred cave solo? Whoo man, it's been a long time. <laughs> but I am not out of practice because uh, you know, that's just what we do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, nah, Carter's doing good stuff. He's doing big things. Uh <laughs> no, he's <laughs> oh but no um no we he, he's he's got some stuff going on so I'm, I'm like i said i was not i was not mad at him i was i was out here uh uh advocating for him to do exactly that he was he was kind of like oh man i don't know if i'll be able to make it. i was like nah, just good do you think king i need i i'm not mad at you for this i i, I like i said it's good stuff it's all good stuff uh, that said, uh, it probably might be for the best because I think some of the stuff we're going to be talking about, uh, or rather I am going to be talking about, is stuff that I hadn't quite clued him in on because we didn't know whether he would show up or not. So it would only just be me talking. So it actually kind of works out. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you know, yeah, it's like riding a bike. You never forget. Uh, speaking of never forgetting, because I'm not going to forget these. Uh, let's see here. Oh, wait, hold up. Wait, never mind. You know what? Corrections, corrections, corrections. <laughs> uh, corrections. Maybe it will not be like old times. Because <laughs> I, I actually, I have somebody joining me. So here, hold on. Let me, let me jump in here. Oh, there I am. And I actually Whoa. will have company uh, this time. Or actually here, let me do my due diligence <laughs> and uh, open up this discord window, you know, the way God intended. Uh, wait, where are the, Oh, here. Oh God. I did a thing. Y'all don't, don't, uh, don't mind what I, what I just did there. It was a, it was a silly thing that will not happen again. <laughs> okay. You could, you could hear me, but you can't see me, huh? No, nah, I wait, 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 wait. No, something, something's up. See, that's what happens when you don't put your computer on for like two weeks and then decide to come in late to something and then uh... expect it to just go all good. <laughs> it's like, no, 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 it's totally going to work. What, 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 sure do you, fine. what do you mean? What do you mean it's not going to work? It's, it's totally going to fucking work. Uh, you know what? Maybe I, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, it's totally going to work. Why, 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 uh, uh, why, why wouldn't it work? It, 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 it'll, it'll always work. Um, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna take my camera on or off. You can keep it on the single screen until okay until yeah, yeah, I can yeah. see myself, and then I'll, I'll give you a heads up. Okay. Well, what's what's going on? What's going on? What's up? <laughs> for those for those who are wondering, uh, for those who are wondering, that is uh the disembodied voice of uh for those who are familiar with the Thursday stream, uh, nerds of culture. That is our guy Robo over there, uh, who is joining me today. And uh, we'll get we'll get him in here shortly. We'll get him in here shortly. That 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 ain't that ain't gonna be no problem. 
But uh, just let me know when you because I it's actually blocked right now. So I will actually no, I'm gonna put it on this side because it'll just be easier. It'll be easier for me to keep up with it on this side. Yeah, it just would be easier. But yeah, we're gonna be uh, we're, we're we're gonna be talking about some stuff. Uh, I finished Avatar: The Last Airbender, so we'll talk about that a little bit later. And uh, right now. I think we're going to jump into some comic book news. Here, let me put that over there. I want to make sure I don't lose that. Uh, we're going to get into some comic book news. And uh, that first bit of comic book news that we're going to jump into is actually going to be about DC. But before we do that, I am going to switch this so that I can start pulling up some of these. Or actually, I won't do it yet. We're going to pull up some of these Super Chats. Uh, we got one here, the nine ninety nine from... Ooh, who is this? This is Hey, this is a first-time Super Chatter from Kimani Coleman uh, with the first-timer. Says, sup, Ernie and Carter. Well, he's not here, but you get the idea. But he says, from Jackson, Mississippi... Oh, man, wait. Wait, from the M-I, crooked letter, crooked letter, I, crooked letter, crooked letter, I, humpback, humpback, I, Jackson, Mississippi. Good Lord. Uh, it says appreciate what y'all do. I got a song called Blurtitude for, uh, for my album Literary Exploits out now shouting y'all out. Hey, d- hey, I appreciate that. That is high praise in my in my eyes. Uh, here, I tell you what is um, I will have to pull. I'll have to look this up because I'm going to want to hear this. I'm going to want to hear this. This is also uh, working on my own comic as well. Hey, well, then shout out to you for that, because that is not an easy uh, that is not an easy process. It is not a uh, it, it is not a task one does lightly. <laughs> let me let me tell you that. Uh, we also want to give a shout out to uh, Brandon for the Blur Club Gold. Uh, some of these are kind of like ahead of when um, uh, when the show started, so some of them I'm not going to be able to show. We also got Rafters with the Blur Club Gold, so we love to see it. We love to see it. Love to see it also here this is where we can actually start uh showing some ish we got rafters uh with the blessings ernie and carter uh mem 10 loves you guys quick question do you plan to go live uh for the big 100k yes yes oh no we're gonna uh that is that is gonna happen uh i will go ahead and tell y'all right now though i will probably be a hot emotional mess so um if I seem out of character, uh, 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 you know, I'm not going to say if, but uh, when it happens, uh, if, uh, not if, but when it happens, I will be, I will be a hot emotional mess. And yeah, that is what you can expect from me. That is what you will be able uh, to expect from me. Hold on, let me. Why is it not doing that? Okay, cool, cool. Got it. Uh, boop, 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 uh, Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Uh, so, let's get into some of these other. We got some more here. We got some more here. We got some more here, I think. I think there's. Let's see, what else we got going on in here? Yes, we got Roybot here with the Blur Club Diamond out here. And love to see it. Love to see it. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Oh, man, we also got Talali House out here with the 20. The hot 20. Says, I love, I love it here. 2024, the year of giving back, at least for me. Says, uh, this channel has done so much for me that I can never repay. Felt like a friend when I didn't have any. Hey, that is, that is huge, uh, mind you. That is huge to me because... When I started this channel, that's kind of in here. Let me mute my phone because, you know, I always y'all. I guess it wouldn't be a blur cave stream if I didn't forget to mute my phone. Uh, But here we are. Uh, But no, when I started this channel, it was all about, uh, you know, making those kind of connections. Uh, You know, I I wanted to, uh, you know, I wanted to channel I wanted to channel the the vibe, the uh, you know, the feeling, um, you know, all that good stuff of that you know, you're being in the shop, you know, being in the shop talking about our favorite things, 
And if uh, if I could provide this kind of uh, uh, you know, a space for anyone, then I did my job, far as I'm concerned. Um, that means a lot. Like I said, you got me. I'm a little emotional. Let me just d- ignore me. Ignore me. Ignore me right now. I'm a little emotional. Just, just <laughs> don't worry about it. Uh, we also got a uh, Roy bot with the, oh man, out here gifting to, oh my God. I heard gifting the memberships. Good Lord. Jeebus. Good Lord. What are you doing? <laughs> I appreciate you, King. I appreciate you out here hooking up the peoples. I love to see it, man. I love to see it. Um, let's see here. Over on the, hey, we got, we got Urban Prince of Strongstyle over on Twitch side, and we got Mojo Quiz says, what's up? I, oh, wait, actually, can I find this one? I think I can find this one. I might be able to find this one. I think it's a, no, it's from two, oh, wait, no, here it is. Bam. Ha <laughs> ha. Found it. it. Says, what's up, people? Today is a great day. I'm officially Grandpa Mojo. Lord, what is good? Dude, love to see it. Hey. Robo, you got, uh, it looks like you got, uh, you got everything under control. Man, look at this, this is a guy, he's ready, he's ready. I love to see it. Uh, here, let me, let's, 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 uh, let, let's, let's, uh, let me see if I remember how to do this. Uh, let's see here, oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, I didn't say the magic word. I did not say the magic word can i get this now i might have to here give me a sec because now it's on my side (laughs) now it's on my side this is also what happens when you uh neglect uh you know taking uh uh you know taking care of your business so here who who, who just became a grandpa uh that was mojo quid over on the twitch side mojo quid on the twitch side look yeah as a as a uh I was a grandpa at 40 years old. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> People are like, you're a grandpa? I'm like, man. Look, man. No, no look, hate. No hate. It, it, it does no hate. Look, karma. That's what it is. I don't believe in karma, but I, I kind of have to. I did it to my parents, and then my daughter did it to me. And so, like, that's how it goes. <laughs> it, uh, it, it, yeah, it, it kind of is what it is. You, know, you, you, just, you, you just have to go with it. You just have to go with it. No, right. one, no one plans for these things. um but no uh let's see here let's see here let's see here uh oh wait wait we got a we got another one here hold up i'm i don't want to we can't neglect these we can't neglect these these are these are these these are amazing things that are happening here uh wait no not that one duh this one says uh gifted one man pay look paying it forward that's what i'm talking about uh Dwayne the geek gifting a membership out here man love to see it i love to see it uh and then we also got uh let's see because uh, we're not done oh you know what first one of the day first one mm. of the day we got that cool black nerd with the <clears throat> 1999 then in a super chat it says <laughs> as someone who has been in the blurred podcast space for almost a decade nobody does it better keep repping also would Saga be better? Ooh, man, that's a good one. As an animated show or live action? Ooh, man, honestly, Ooh. that that's a good one. That's a good one. I, man, okay, so I'm, here's the thing. I'm gonna tell you what my heart is going to say and what my mind is going to say. <laughs> In my heart, I would love to see it in live action just because right. I would love for somebody to prove that it could be done. Right. However. <laughs> One has it. <laughs> However. <laughs> uh, I think that it actually would work better as uh, an animated series because you could get away with a lot more. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's. I, well, it would depend on if they go like the manga anime route, right? Like we, yeah. we were talking about this before where we're like, the one thing that manga and anime that Japan just does right is take something that works here, mm-hmm. animate it exactly the same. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> panel for panel. 
you're gonna love it. Do you like it on manga? Great. We're just gonna make a move now. Uh, but you yeah. know, yeah, everybody else are like, now nah, we're gonna make it our own story, which is cool sometimes. I have a feeling we're yeah. gonna talk about that a little later. Uh, foreshadowing, but the uh, <laughs> the, the <laughs> but the uh, but I think uh, Saga would be dope animated if they just go panel for panel. You yeah, know what I mean. Don't don't try and tell your own story. Don't try and be like, oh no, this is us. We're gonna do it. This, this, this is saga, but it's mm -hmm. our saga. Like, no, 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 no. Just 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 give me look, Jujutsu Kaisen it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Chainsaw Man, all of them. Chainsaw Man, everything. Look, yeah. I want that shit shot for shot, panel for panel, word for word, beat for fucking beat. And occasionally yeah. release a movie every now and again. That right? like honestly, you know what? Even though I know I know uh 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 you were out because you were still uh I think like you were literally like in, on the verge of coming back home mm. uh from your vacation. But you know, would uh Cypher and I were talking about this uh, this oh, past yeah. Thursday on Nerds of Culture, which by the way, if you didn't know we stream on Thursdays and yep, you can yep. go check those out. Uh it's literally the VODs are always up and it's in podcast format in the same places that you would be able to find the Blur Cave in podcast format. Mm -hmm. So uh, links are in the description below uh, to get to all of those respective things, I believe. If not, I will fix that. Um, but that said, no, we talked about how, uh, like I said, I know, I talk cash money shit about MAPPA, but, but, <laughs> they are really good at what they do. <laughs> Which yeah. makes me feel horrible to say this, but yeah. like if a Mappa got a hold of uh of Saga of the Saga IP, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's over. That would be the most epic shit you'd ever watch. And what and what's the shit you talk about, Mappa? Is is it the the conditions, the work conditions? Thing? Yes, uh, the work. Yeah, okay. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's the work, and and that's that's why it's so good. It's it's the work yeah. conditions. They, they well, I mean that's the thing. It's like, it's like look, it would be so dope. Mm -hmm. just like not for the animators but mm -hmm. like for us it would be <laughs> like it would be amazing for us it would yeah, yeah. it would suck for the animators because i guarantee really they're not going to be paid well they're not going to be treated mm -hmm. fairly but like I, I would even say like i wouldn't even go as far as to see, even say like a mappa like you could even get uh i forget the name of the studio that does demon slayer demon slayer is great uh you know animation wise and i know while mappa is doing vinland saga season they did uh vinland saga season two uh there was a different studio that did the first season and it was amazing and mm -hmm. you could just get that studio uh get studio perot uh you can get them you can get all there's there's other studios and from what i understand studio perot is the one that is the more progressive uh animation studio they they have been cited as treating their animators more fairly paying them a fair wage and uh so on and so forth so yeah that's what's up look hey it was <laughs> uh let's see here it says uh the uh sir ug said the map of work conditions make that rdc skit hella accurate okay. Ma look damn <laughs> dude i just want to go ahead and say it right now dude rdc be cooking yeah. <laughs> RDC be yeah. cooking sometimes. So you can't stay relevant for 13 years and not and not cook. <laughs> no. Nah. Oh, oh no, no, no. You look, first off, I would be questioning the you know, how they got to where they were if they weren't cooking. Uh because I guarantee you, like, if you watch one of their skits where they're making fun of like uh you know the the gaming industry, the movie industry, the anime industry, like any industry that you know we love, I guarantee you. It cooks because it's accurate as as all get out. Like it, it, mm -hmm. it you can't deny it. Uh, what was it the one where uh one of my favorite ones actually is the one uh I think it was about uh Ezra Miller about whether Warner Brothers would cancel Ezra Miller, and a lot of folks got mad about it, but it was true. Mm. <laughs> Look, it was true. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I'll make the rules. <laughs> that's, and, that, and that's and that's usually how it goes, right? It's like, mm -hmm. look, 
you're you're mad because 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 we're right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it wasn't because we told the lie. It's because we told the truth. <laughs> uh, we also got another one here because I don't want to miss this one either from uh, Roy Bot with the five dollars says taking a moment to give an in memoriam of black excellence. My first barber and cousin Derek Detail Johnson rest in power. Man, look, first off, I know that motherfucker had to be a bad, bad man. Oh, uh, uh, with them clippers. If your name has detail in it, like you say, no, like, nah, that's my homie detail right there. I already know what time it is. So, yeah, look, hey, uh, for, for one, first and foremost, so sad to hear about their passing, but also at the same time, uh, I am always one who believes in celebration of people's lives. So yeah. I will say, uh, let's celebrate this brother. And you know what? Uh, yeah, I know that... Um, it may seem, uh, it may seem trivial or, uh, uh, consequential, but I think, you know, one of the, the, the highest, uh, one of the highest forms is you drop the bomb for somebody. So we're going to drop the bomb for Derek Detail Johnson. Uh, hmm. Let me see what we got here. You know what? I think, uh, I think we're ready. I think we're ready. Let uh, we're not we're we're gonna we're gonna jump into DC first because uh, I think this is actually interesting. It's not something I think we'll spend a whole heap of a lot of time on just because, I mean, yeah, it's it's kind of the devil's yeah. They say the devil's in the details. Is actually, this is just in the single statement. <laughs> DC Comics moving back to Wednesdays. <laughs> um, so. If you have or have not been keeping up, what's basically been going on here is, uh, I think, man, DC has been on Tuesdays since the pandemic. Uh, I think they moved, uh, they moved to Tuesdays in 2020. It was kind of like, yeah, I think it was actually like dead ass at almost the beginning of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And... The uh, this was huge because comics come out on Wednesdays. <laughs> That's right. It's like a, it's like here's the thing: movies, video games, most popular like media Tuesdays, right. comics Wednesdays. Wednesdays, yeah. And that was a that was a, during the same time as the whole diamond distributors, you know, kind of again. Yep. That whole that whole mix up, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. It was uh and, and they they got away they got away from that. And I, you know, honestly, I didn't like it for me personally. Cause it well, I liked it and I didn't like it. I liked it in one aspect because it meant that like, okay, well, if there's any D anything DC I want to cover, that means that I don't have to worry about it like coming out the exact same time as all the other stuff I normally cover. Uh, you know, case in point, like this week, we dropped a, a Wonder Woman video, which, by the way, if you've not checked it out, you probably should. It's really good. Um, Wonder Woman number six came out. And I was like, oh, yeah, I want to do a video for this. And technically, if it comes out on a Tuesday, that means if I have the wherewithal to not be lazy on a Tuesday, I can actually, uh, you know, uh, uh, pick up the video, uh, you know, pick up the, the comic and then do the video for that. And then, you know, be like, okay, cool, we're done. I recorded my Wonder Woman. A video on Tuesday, and by the time I finally edited it, the next day or the or actually, I think I I edited it Thursday, uh, so to release on Friday. And sometimes that does make life a little easier for me, but at the same time, I kind of like having my Tuesdays to myself, like where like Tuesday can be a nice day of rest. Uh, <laughs> like yeah. I like to use it because the shit dropped. You did all the work, and mm -hmm. by the time Tuesday came around, you've already done the work. Um, you know, unless you're me, and then you're like scrambling through all right then and there. But <laughs> you know, if you're if you're if you're you, mm -hmm. then that's that's the time to just chill. But no, now 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 the weekends are one day shorter, <laughs> right? No, that, exactly. That exactly. It just it, it's so. I mean, yeah, I, I I get it. Now to to talk about the the reasonings, uh uh, uh behind it. Uh, this is actually because of, well, y'all. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> and I don't mean that in a bad way. I don't want anyone to think that I'm like, 
<laughs> you know, sh- uh, you know, shitting on y'all. No, it's y'all no motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> y'all motherfuckers. Y'all the reason why this happened. No, it, it no, but it, I mean that might be how DC is saying it, but not me. Um, no, the reason is because they listened to you, the readers. Uh, and, and not just readers, they also listen to the retailers. The retailers did not, yeah. yeah. Actually, I'm gonna be honest. Mm-mm. First, let's, let's, let's keep it a let's 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 keep it a rack. <laughs> it, that probably had more to do with retailers than it did actual readers. Okay, that, I mean, when it comes to money, it's like because I remember I, I had I, I I talked to one dude, now he's full of shit and it's not gonna happen, but when this hall went down, he was like. I just, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm about ready to not buy DC. And I'm thinking, my head like, man, shut the fuck. This is your whole lifeline. This is no damn way. You know, don't sit but here and play. They, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> don't, don't sit but here they play. were, they were, they were upset. Like that whole, mm-hmm. that messed up their whole thing. Messed up the whole shelving process. Like, uh, like they would, they would come in super early on those days to make sure that that you know everything got shelved right. So now you have to do that two days in a row. Like, the, I mean, the store owners. The clerks, nobody. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised it took them this long to, um, to to do something. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I I I, I stand by my uh, I I stand by my initial uh, uh, belief that it had a lot to do with that. And I mean, yeah, sure, I'm sure readers being upset about it, being pissy about it. Which I mean, to be fair, mm-hmm. rightfully so. I I. I, I'm not gonna shade anybody for uh, having a, a, a negative opinion, a less than positive perspective. On, well, well, help me on out. It. Help me out. You yeah, know, yeah, me, yeah. I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, I'm the casual. I mean, don't, don't let this. This is, this is like a hard covers, and, and like the, the cover was, was pretty. Um, but the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like, yeah, it's like... <laughs> what, what, what is it? At not not from the content creator's perspective, not from the retailer's perspective, but as mm. the fan, you know, right. you chat anybody, help me out. What's the matter from the reader's perspective? Honestly, I don't. The only okay, so here the only the only thing I could see is it means instead of having to come to the shop twice a week, uh, you show up on one day or. Yeah, and also here, I'm gonna tell you what I think was actually happening. I think people who were DC fans just didn't show up on Tuesday. They probably just waited till Wednesday, so it didn't change anything. It didn't. It, right. I don't think it drove traffic. I, I've and I've talked to some like I was, I, I'm friends with a couple of people who run shops in my city, mm-hmm. like first name basis, and. I'm going to say that, yeah, it did not drive traffic. I, I would be shocked if it did. Because yeah. I know me. I'm not going in Tuesday and then coming right back the next day for Marvel shit. Right. No, I'm going to come get it all. One shot. The and only way you're going to be able to, to make something like that work is by doing, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, for scarcity, for scarcity, artificial scarcity, something mm-hmm. like that, right? Where you take you we take like a a, a a title that you know is gonna sell, that you know has hype behind it, and you don't buy as much in that first round. Exactly. That way it teaches your cut well, it's 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 shitty, but you're like, hey, you want you probably want to come in on Tuesdays because it might not be here on Wednesdays. But let's be real, the 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 physical selling physical copies is never that scarce. You can always wait till to Wednesday. So mm-hmm. I mean, I personally, I and, and I, I personally believe that, yeah, if you're a fan of DC, like, okay, if you're one of those people that if you only read DC comics, yeah, sure, it's not going to matter to you what fucking day they come out. You're going to go and, you know, it's not like you, you're going to come in on Wednesday or come in on Tuesday and be like, oh, man, I sure wish my Marvel comics were out today. If you don't read Marvel or you don't read Image, you don't read any other, you know, the imprints that release on Wednesday, which all of them do, mm-hmm. then, yeah, I don't see this being a major deal. But for people who like to, you know, have variety, <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, yeah. You, this, this might be a, uh, this, this might be something better. Yeah, uh, Travis eighty seven. Yeah. That that's that's what I was trying to think of. Like, because I remember I was talking to that was back when uh, we were still trying to do IFLC and all that stuff. 
so we were like talking to uh to store owners about this stuff back we were talking about during the during the pandemic mm. and i remember they were talking about something this was the thing i heard the most they were like we're still only going to stock on on wednesdays that's too much of a pain in the ass so they're going to come in on tuesdays and so i remember what he would tell me like your your regular store store owner if you had polls mm-hmm. and you wanted and you wanted polls to come in you wanted to get your dc polls on tuesday he'll do that for you mm. but when it comes to putting them up on the shelf, it's like, no, I'm not, I'm not doing that twice a week. <laughs> He's like, that's too no. much. That's a pain in the ass. <laughs> well, I mean, because I mean, you're looking at labor, you're looking at increased mm-hmm. labor, and mm-hmm. you know, uh, times being. You're not doing that shit during to- store hours, so that's, no, you pay people more. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, and, and with times as lean as they are right now for a lot of you know, industries, a lot of people, I know you, know, it, it's lean a lot of times for you know comic book shops. It's a thankless job. You're not yeah. gonna want to have to shell out that extra manpower. Yeah, and you might not, and I'm not, might not be the fact that you don't want to. You might not be able to, depending on the output of your store. Like, just depends, case by case basis. Um, that said, and kind of in uh, uh, in correlation, uh, in correlation for the um. Uh, for this rejoining of Marvel and DC being back on the same day. Uh, Mm. We also got some other news. Uh, We got some other news in relation. Jim Lee apparently has uh, put together a nice, nice piece of uh, work. I want to pull this up. Mm -hmm. Uh, Let's see here. Let's take a look at this. Bam! The cover... This is the cover for the, uh, the Amalgam uh comics omnibus damn bruh here i, I you know what honestly i kind of want to zoom this in because i kind of want to gush a little bit i lo- I, I, I y- y'all have heard me talk about this before i love raw pencils i love seeing raw pencils Bro. it just is <sighs> man does some for me it just does some for me <laughs> <laughs> but uh we got here a a, a good nice clean look at Jim Lee's raw pencils. Uh, and this man, this is a thing of beauty. I'm this sorry. So nice. Dude, I, I'm gonna have to buy it. I'm gonna have to buy the omnibus. Now, here's the thing. Uh th- you before uh, I I thought you I thought you meant the pencils. I'm like, <sighs> no, no, God, you, no, you, man. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> man, look. You, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, look. Look, Cersei, you were going to go to college, but you see Jim Lee drop these pencils. <laughs> <laughs> and be like, so look, you're going to have to go to community college. Uh, yeah, and uh, for you. <laughs> I mean, hey, you know what? It, it, it worked for Troy and Abed. But, you know? <laughs> but, bro, in the morning. Right. but on the bright side. Look at his dope ass pencils on the wall, though. Right? <laughs> like, look, look, and I got I look. like twenty G's. <laughs> look, 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 baby. I know oh, you needed some man. new shoes and stuff for school, but look, it's Jim Lee, though. <laughs> Damn, that shit is so nice, dude. Look, like, dude, this is the type of shit that, like, when I am drawing my own pictures, like, I'm like, man, I want my shit to look like that. <laughs> like, that's that right look, there. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, you know, not not to take us on a tangent, but this type that type of thinking right there, mm-hmm. that I I I still don't know how to break myself away from that. Like mm-hmm. I don't know, like if I want if I'm an artist, how does an artist who is nowhere near Mark Brooks or Jim Lee or or any of these dudes, how do how do, how do you still feel good? Like you know, and even as a content creator, you see mm-hmm. some other shit. Or if you're a comedian, you see some other like it's like like man, dude, like you got somebody yeah. coming out like this here. Have you ever looked at pencils like this? Like, have you ever looked at this and said, mm. and, and I'm kind of changing the subject, is and thought could inks and colors made it worse? Yes. Yes. Like, I, I see some of the detail out there around, uh, who's that? Is that Cosmic Ghost Rider or just Ghost Rider? Not just no, Ghost no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, looking at it at first glance, I was like, I was like, damn, that is Cosmic Ghost Rider right there. No, I thought it was but, a helmet at first. Not. <laughs> no, no, but no. I, but, I have a feeling like the inks are gonna. I feel like the, sometimes it might not. Yeah, the inks gonna, like mess up some of the detail of the fire or something. I'm like, oh. I that's thing. I like like I love a good ink. I love a good you know, you know, ink 
you know, print. But I love seeing the detail and the pencils and the yes. shading. And and yeah. even here, like this is gonna sound crazy as fuck. But like right here in the cape, mm -hmm. in the cape right here for back claw. Mm -hmm. I just love seeing the fact that where the he, pencil goes. Yeah, like where he yeah. where he changed where he was shading. Uh, I love seeing shit like that because it just like it, it's a reminder that you know maybe, oh well you know that you know what that is mm -hmm. that's a this is a uh, a compilation so that's one sheet the top mm -hmm. that's a quadrant yeah and then he and he drew the other the upper right quadrant separately so right that's you can tell he was different on that shit. and I, I I love seeing that shit though. so talented so Dude, talented I love this seeing that just so great mm. magnifique. Yeah. As they say in uh in in uh, yeah, like you, you, uh, his, uh, again. <laughs> oh my god, dude! What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? God damn! <laughs> Here, old, I got I, I got to I got to put some respect on. It. it says uh Gilles Moses. Oh, that's impressive. This is Robo. Mm -hmm. Great to see you. Congratulations again Thank to the blurs you. watching, listening, catch up later. <clears throat> Get those likes up, mm. okay? Stop, don't, don't. <laughs> it's free. Yeah, it's free. Stop <laughs> playing with me, okay? Stop, stop fucking playing with me, okay? Okay, okay. Don't, or don't, don't make me have to do like the dad thing. You know, like where you're like you, you where you, 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 you know, you grew up in a black and brown family. If your dad did the um, when they were button the lip, like hmm, mm. hmm, hmm. Yeah. Because <laughs> you, <laughs> you know, <laughs> whatever it was, they were, whatever that was in like a follow up to, you knew you better have an answer. <laughs> yeah. 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 Or, or, if it, or if that was in response to something you just said, you just said the wrong thing. Like oh, was, yeah. Was, yeah. He's like, hmm. Mm -hmm. What, what the fuck you say? <laughs> like, hmm? <laughs> well, <not bad>. <laughs> <laughs> it's like okay, all right, all right. No, no, no. I appreciate you, Gil. Just kids for 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 those that that don't know, I had my belated uh, honeymoon uh, from Paris, and then I came back in, and I don't know, some Ghana stuff or herbalades or something kicked my ass or something. <laughs> I just like, I've been in a coma. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in a coma for like two days, and then oh. Ernie said, "Hey, you got this." I'm like. Fuck yeah, I got this. Let's go. Let's get in there. I'm, I'm sitting here like I'm standing myself in the I'm standing to myself in the camera like, dude, like shit. I'm like, nah. He's like, nah. He's like, I, he's like, I can make. No, he so it's, it's like it's almost like watching one of those like old war movies. Some dude just got like blown off. Yeah, and he's and like <laughs> motherfuckers missing a leg and they got mm -hmm. one arm. He's like, I can make it. I can make it. <laughs> yeah. He's like, no, you need to just take a take, just rest. Just lay there. I'm good. <laughs> just go ahead, take that knee, King. Go ahead, take that that young knee. <laughs> Paris was dope. Paris was dope. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, I ain't gonna lie. I heard this in the voice of my mother. Like I read this in the voice. It was. Uh, so what happened with them di with them dishes? Hmm? 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 Do you bet? You better have an answer. Oh, you man. better have an answer. That's all I'm gonna say. You uh, know, my favorite part is thinking that you could do the kitchen, right? And not, and not do the pots, and thinking nobody would notice, bro, because because you left them to marinate in the water, but you clean the rest of the kitchen. And they're like, you, I thought you were clean. I cleaned it. You're like, all those pots are still in the are they're still, still in the there. Sink. I feel like I have to let them soak. <laughs> oh, 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 they soaking, huh? Hmm? Yeah. Hmm? <laughs> See, you didn't like the video. See, right now, I'm looking at it right now. We got 235 people. I see 127 likes. Hmm? Hmm? Damn. Hmm? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but anyway, yeah, like I said, yeah, like in your own time. Yeah, maybe you need time. But if you if you've been here, <laughs> if you've been here for 44 minutes, this is, this is literally we've been live 44 minutes. You've been here this time. You ain't liked it. Come on, man. Just you know, throw me a bone here, man. Uh, help on, me man. out. <laughs> yeah, it, it help me help you. you know, help me help you. Help uh, me. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, let me... You know, let, let, let's jump it. That, that was actually an easy one. That was an easy one. 
Man, we got a live action Naruto movie that got announced yesterday. Mm. Mm. All right. <laughs> look, okay. Is it Netflix? Is it, is it Netflix? <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, look. he's like, he's like, wait a minute, who making it? <laughs> so, um, the news, the the news in question, the movie. Uh, as far as I know, oh, Lionsgate. Yeah, this is gonna be Lionsgate. So I mean, yeah, this this might be this could be something. Um, but here's a more uh, here's one of the 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 uh, I guess the interesting aspects of this is uh who is going to be directing it? Yeah. Uh, and it's, it's gonna be okay. yeah, it's gonna be Daniel Destin uh Cretton who. If you are somehow uh, unfamiliar, if you have not seen uh, Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings, uh, it's going to be that gentleman uh, who is uh, going to be uh, directed, the same director uh, as mm-hmm. that. So I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited for it. I, I think that can work. Um, I, I, I have a lot of... <sighs> Man, I have concerns probably for different reasons than other people. Uh, my main concern is really what are you trying to do? <laughs> like, 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 okay. I thought you were going to say, what are you fucking doing? Right. Why? Why? <laughs> Well, it just I, I I say all this I say all this because uh for me for me I don't know why you would want to make this a, a a live action. I mean I, I get it, yeah, you, you want to reach new audiences, uh, which is kind of why they made the one piece live action TV show. My problem with this isn't even that it's being made at all. But I feel like if you're going to try and take something like Naruto and turn it into a movie, I feel like you miss the point. You know what I mean? I, I, yeah, and, it's too much. It's too it, much. Unless they're going to yeah. make it like a maybe a trilogy might work. You know, six hours. I don't know. Yeah, I just to do the to do the what the point of that of Naruto was in a single hour and a half to two hour movie. The, the I don't know. That's, I don't know how that's going to work. It ain't mathin'. That math ain't mathin' for me. I, I feel like, like, okay, well, I know a lot of people didn't like uh, the uh, the Yu Yu Hakusho uh, mm-hmm. live action on Netflix. I mean, I feel that one suffered from different problems than what typical anime adaptations uh, suffer from. I didn't dislike it. I thought it was fine. But uh, I feel like they tried to condense too much. And I right. think that's the and that's the same. And I, I bring up Yu Yu Hakusho for the same reason that I'm criticizing Naruto, is that if you make a movie, you're not giving yourself as well as the uh, the characters that are in the story enough time to breathe. And there's a lot of characters. There's a lot of stuff going on. And I feel like it would just work out better if you know, if instead of trying to condense. Uh, let's say we do an opening arc. Uh, let, let, let's say we do, you know, the first movie is Zabuza. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Zabuza and Haku. That, that is, that is your, oh, that is your first film. Okay. Makes sense. It, it's logical. But I feel like studios always try and do too much more they try and do all this world building setting up the next movie making sure you're aware that they have a plan to make a a a a second third fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth movie that you're trying to build a cinematic universe that you're trying to create the next mcu uh we'll have the well instead of the mcu it'll be the n uh uh cu it'll be the naruto cinematic universe which is just ridiculous uh on its face you need to do this as a TV show because I feel like, you know, you need to have at least eight to ten episodes uh, to really give the story some weight. 
give the characters mm-hmm. the justified adaptations I, I feel fans would want. Um, and, and also, one of my favorite anime, uh, I, I've talked about this anime before, uh, and I think I even uh, had it as a recommended. Uh, I had it as a, uh, yeah, I had it as recommended like, what, a couple of weeks ago, I believe. Some, uh, somewhere uh, in and around that neighborhood. And one of the things that really disappointed me about that anime is, and what had nothing to do with the anime itself, uh, just mind you, but it had to do with the fact that they they made a um, a live action version. Which one is this talking about? Uh, this was an anime called Basilisk. Uh, uh and here I'll actually here let me uh let me pull it up just so y'all can kind of you know, uh for those who might be unfamiliar can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. But this was Basilisk. And uh great show. Uh great show. It's um it is for all intents and purposes based on the same story that Ninja Scroll uh is based on uh to a degree. Uh, even has a couple of characters uh, from Ninja Scroll that pop up in this. Uh, but I'll, I'll be in under different circumstances, and they're not exactly the same. Uh, but uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tale of Romeo and Juliet by way of Japan, uh, where two people who come from rival ninja clans, and their ninja clans get drug into... Uh, and by the way, it, before this even happens, they already don't like each other. But they get drugged into a conflict where they have to fight each other, uh, 10 versus 10, uh, to determine who will be the uh, you know, the next leader of Japan. And they made a live-action version of this called Shinobi. Uh, sh- and it actually had a subtitle, Shinobi Heart Under Blade. Um, this movie was awful. <laughs> Cause it tried to condense twenty four, twenty six, some odd episodes into a two hour movie, and I was like, it, it, to tell you how to tell to give you an idea of how much they condensed it, they condensed it so hard that it wasn't ten ninjas versus ten ninjas. They turned that shit into a five on five pickup game at the the fucking basketball court. Uh, it just meant that certain characters couldn't show up. The characters you gave a shit about wouldn't show up. It also meant it also meant that the 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 characters weren't getting the proper respect that they uh, deserved. Uh, I and, just, who, yeah. and who made this? This is a, is this an American made? No, American? this was made in Japan. See, I'm glad you said that because I was just about to talk on my ass and be like, well, you know what they need to do is have Japan make the live action, <laughs> and, and then you would have been like. Well, I'm glad you said that. Let yeah. me tell you about Shinobi. <laughs> well, well, you know what? The, the funny thing is, I, I feel like both you and Carter would have been on the, uh, on a similar wavelength there. So, because I feel like it, it, that's the same thing probably would have uh, uh, came up. But yeah, no, this was this was made in Japan. Hmm. This was made in Japan by by Japanese people. <laughs> this had no American ties whatsoever, to my uh, 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 to my knowledge. So some so some shit just needs to stay. Yeah, uh, animated. <laughs> oh no, hundred percent. Some shit. Like, like, look, I, I get it. You know, it, it's cool sometimes to see something you give a shit about be um uh uh, uh you know, get the you know, get the 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 live action treatment, get that validation. Mm-hmm. Uh, and here, oh, yep, actually, here, let me let me get this right here because this is uh this is something of note. This is uh this is of note. I'm gonna pull this up on here. Let's pull this up on the screen here. Robo pulled this for us. Uh, <clears throat> Kishimoto, uh, who for those who don't know that, that is the creator of uh, Naruto, gave credit his blessing to adapt Naruto for live action. Says when I heard of Destin's attachment, it happened to be right after watching a blockbuster action film of his, and I thought he would be the perfect director for Naruto. Uh, Kishimoto said in a statement provided by Entertainment Weekly. 
Uh, it says, mm-hmm. uh, after enjoying his other films and understanding that his forte is in creating solid dramas about people, I became convinced that there is no other director for Naruto. In, actual, in, in actually meeting Destin, I also found him to be an open-minded director who was willing to embrace my input and felt strongly that we would be able to cooperate together in the production process. So there's something very important here that I, mm-hmm. I think should... Um, I think should be should be noticed here. So one of the things I said sitting in the theater, and I don't know if anyone else thought this, but I know other people I went with kind of echoed similar feelings. Shang-Chi was a beautiful film. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. Like the whole time I was watching it. Two things crossed my mind, Uh, uh, specifically two things crossed my mind. I thought, man. This dude is going to wind up directing somebody's anime adaptation. Mm -hmm. Because I was like, dude, I said the movie is too beautiful. It's too uh, 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 just elegant in in, in its nature. Like Mm -hmm. it it seems to be able to capture a level of beauty inside of the action that it's portraying. And I also thought about Avatar. I was like, man, I said, imagine if this guy got his hands on Avatar. Imagine how like cold avatar would look on the big screen if someone decided hey we want to take another chance on a live action avatar the last airbender movie i'd be like dude get this guy because he clearly understands the look and the feel that something of that magnitude should have i mean hell the motherfuckers were literally like doing air bending and water bending in the goddamn movie uh but just with rings instead Mm -hmm. of the actual elements so yeah do i think he could pull it off yeah sure Mm -hmm. if anyone could it would be him i just i worry that the movie might try and do too much if there is studio interference uh which let's be real (laughs) Mm. (laughs) studio interference is a thing (laughs) right right yeah 100 percent we know you're trying to only do this Zabuza Zab arc, but man, we really thought uh, if you could throw in the tuning exams, that's what fans really like. They really love, we, we read on the forums that they really like the tuning exams. Uh, I, I think that's what you should do. Yeah, you should, you should. Can Is yeah. there any way you could squeeze that in there? And, <laughs> uh, and very rare, very rare, rarely, rarely are you going to ever see like uh, directors and producers you know, fall in the, in, 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 in the professionalism to be able to say, Hey, so that movie we just put out that everybody says is hot duty water. Uh, thank the big wigs. All right. They, they're yeah. never going to say that. They're going <laughs> to no. say, Hey, we gave it our best. So I'm proud of my, my work. Da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? The, they'll um, wait, they'll wait yeah. 10 years. They'll wait yeah, 10 or yeah. 15 years. Don't and need like... for a job anymore. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, I'm out the game. I don't care no more. Go well, punch yeah. Cherie's fa- baby father said he didn't say that shit. Why do you think that? I, I think I think for for a play uh, for an Entertainment Weekly to straight up quote somebody, they put that shit in quotes. They didn't. They didn't. You know, yeah. That's how lawsuits happen. I I don't have any problem believing they said that. Now. Yeah. I think I think what you can say is I I think it's unlikely he didn't say it. What you can say is. That's that's big whiz being nice to each other. Like, what is he going to be mean? You know, what right? I mean? You know, I, I I don't know if it's sincere or not. You know what I mean? But he said it. Yeah. Well, yeah. What was it? Uh, uh, I'll I'll draw your attention to uh, Alita Battle Angel. The creator mm-hmm. of Battle Angel Alita was very uh, uh, respectful and, and praising of that movie. Which I mean, to be fair, it was a good movie. Mm-hmm. I liked it as a as a fan of Battle Angel Alita. I was like, dude, this is. I was like, this is the future. I was like, mm. this is the, I was like, I was like, finally a good American uh, anime adaptation. But I mean, it didn't do well at the box office. Uh, and supposedly there's talks that a sequel will probably happen at some point. That's probably only because Robert Rodriguez just does what he wants. He doesn't <laughs> wait for studios to back him. He just does it himself. Mm. So that's mm. the only reason it will ever happen if it does happen. But I will also direct you uh, to the One Piece Netflix uh, adaptation. Uh, was it uh, uh, the... I don't remember the name of the creator of One Piece, but they were very 
praising of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, they were praising the cast and the showrunners, writers, and and even though I think to their detriment, even the special effects department, which I thought the special effects were fucking awful in that <laughs> TV show. They were... I was like, there are a lot of bad wigs and bad prosthetics in this show. More no. than any show should have. <laughs> no. uh, what was it? Cat Daddy with the, 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 the finger knives? I was like, come on, y'all. <laughs> come on, y'all. R- really? Yeah. Okay. All right. I, I guess I, I guess nobody cares. Y'all, y'all love it anyway. Okay. <laughs> um, but here's the thing. Uh, I would also go as far as say, if you want to talk about studio interference, how do you think we got Spider-Man 3? Spider-Man 3 was 100% studio interference, and to Robo's credit, as he just said, you know, most people will not say anything right away. It took Sam Raimi a while to criticize that movie. It was a while for he finally started coming out and saying, because he himself said he didn't want this motherfucker in his movie. <laughs> Look at that <laughs> he, he didn't that want horrible. he didn't want Ven- matter of fact Sam Raimi said he hated the character Venom he said I remember him saying he he didn't criticize the the studio but I remember shortly after the movie came out he was very critical he was he was hyper critical of the Venom character he thought he said himself he thought the character of Venom was stupid as and, a character in general or for the movie in the movie as a character in general, he didn't like the character uh-huh. of Venom. And matter of fact, he said he would not ever put Venom in his films prior to Spider-Man 3. Okay. And then the studio was like, Oh, we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> yeah, you're going to put that motherfucker in there, okay? Uh-huh. Oh, so you All don't right. Oh, so you don't want to do a movie. That we saying you don't yeah. you don't want us you don't want us to pay for this movie? Well, Dude. That's fine. You can pay for yourself. That's fine. We could do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was like, oh, well, I guess yeah, we'll just get somebody else. I mean, you know, I know you got rent coming up and shit, but uh, um, who was... uh? Do, uh this is kind of funny to me, too, because... So, it's funny how synchronicity works. You know, we're talking about this right now. My daughter, mm-hmm. you know, Cersei, she was watching... um, She was watching Sing 2 last Uh night (laughs) and you probably wonder like okay where the fuck is this going (laughs) there's a part in that movie and i've only seen (laughs) it a couple of times because yeah out out of the millions of times she's watched it herself but there's a part where uh i don't know the name i think i think the i don't know the name of the character i think i I, was it like jimmy crystal or whoever the it's a wolf it's a wolf. We'll just put it that way. There's thank, a part. Thank you, thank you, Thanos. Thank you, Thanos. Oh shit! I, was, yeah. I, I just, I was just feeling some kind of way hearing about Sam Raimi's opinion, and then Melman said Raimi was right, and I'm like, what the fuck? Venom is bad as fuck. And then I forget. Look, maybe Sam Raimi hasn't read Donny Cates' Venom. He probably that hasn't. shit. That shit is dope as fuck. If yeah. you read Donny Cates' Venom and think <laughs> Venom as a character is whack. Well, then nothing. I just disagree with you. Yeah. But you know, you can't be helped. You can't yeah, be helped I'm at like, that point. Then that's that's that, I guess. But, but yeah, I mean, yeah, you can't be helped at that point. <laughs> but like, there is a part where this guy's daughter wants to be a part of this play production mm-hmm. that the main character's putting on. And the main character's like, well, I already have my main character cast, and I, I wrote this part specifically for her. I and actually then, seen this movie. <laughs> <laughs> and, that, and you know what part I'm talking about. Dude. He yeah, pulled him aside yeah, and said, yeah. he's like, hey, can you walk with me for a minute? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was like, you, he was, you gotta put my daughter in there, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah, you go, you gonna do it. So, yeah. um, he's like, you you gonna make this shit, right? You so 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 what you're saying is you oh oh so what you're saying is you don't want to make the play. Hmm. No, 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 that's cool. No, no, go ahead. I, 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 I didn't mean, realize you already had the money for it. My bad. Right? He's like, yeah, I I mean that's cool that you, you, I appreciate you. I appreciate you being honest. Mm-hmm. You know, that you know, that you didn't want to make this. <laughs> He's like, we just get somebody else to do it. Uh but yeah, it it's it is That's the thing I'm afraid of. That is the one and only thing that I am personally afraid of with this. And who who 
knows? It could work out. It could work out beautifully. Uh, Lionsgate is a studio that, while I'm not going to say that, you know, every, everything they make is just fucking gold. Uh, you know, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> but they've made movies Trump that I like. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> like, like, I'm not gonna say yeah, y'all, y'all, <laughs> Look at drunk combos thing. No, see y'all. Y'all ain't supposed to notice. It's it's just, it's just like a, a war machine. It just next character. <laughs> next character over. He's like, you you don't address it. You don't address it. Yeah, you just like you just, you just accept it. It's just it's just what it is. Now. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, I guess uh, Carter, I, I will, Carter will be back. Carter yeah, he, he will. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna do like the MCU. Carter presents real re- will return. No, he's <laughs> he's doing a game test uh, mm. at a gaming uh, developer studio, and um, he just couldn't be here. the The timing for it was now, and uh, also let me let me also be clear here. It was a paying gig. And yes. while I pay Carter for his time on the show, the money I pay him would not equate the money he would get for doing the game test. And 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 not to give away numbers, but let's just <clears> say <throat> whereas I would be paying him in a like depending on, you know, how well a show does, it can vary. But let's just say the amount of money I would pay him for one month of being on the show, he would make that in three days doing what he's doing. He would make he would make triple that, maybe even and maybe even four times that doing that game test, doing the game test. No shit. God yeah. Damn. So and that's just for three days. So when he said that I got to get into that game does shit. (laughs) I I mean, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, uh, he sent me a link. I can give it to you. Uh, (laughs) but no, um, so yeah, well, I am sad that he couldn't be here. I'm not like shedding any tears because I know he's getting his paper. Like this is, this is a paying gig. I'm not going to tell like, if car, I'm not gonna tell someone who is working for, I mean, not to minimize it, but like who's working for crumbs, just to you know hang out with me and talk shit on Saturdays. I'm not gonna tell that motherfucker to, no, 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 you got to be here. I don't right. care what you say. <laughs> no, no, your responsibility is to me. You gonna be on the K. Fuck that money. No, I'm not going to say that shit. What kind of idiot would I look like? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, if it, and if it's and if it's paying like you say it's paying. Yeah. Well, we all know he would say to that anyway. <laughs> He's like, right. OK, like, well, like, well I guess uh, I guess look, I'm not on the show anymore. Mike. <laughs> look, 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 y'all know that that that, that LeBron James, that, that, uh, that, 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 uh, that LeBron James, where he's like grabbing his stuff. And he's just like. Yeah, he's taking his shit his best. <laughs> that would be Carter walking out of the yeah. blur cave if I said that shit to him. Like, nah, don't, don't look, don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Uh, we also got um here. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, we actually got uh we got a super chat here that uh we can hit up. Uh, I believe says, uh, ooh, let's get this out of the way so we can actually see it says, uh, Miss Maria with a $2 super chat says, did you watch ERB Godzilla, uh, uh versus King Kong? Wait, wait, wait. Are we talking about the, like the original one? Or are we talking about the one that came out like during the pandemic? ERB. I don't know. King Kong. Well, I'll tell you right now. The answer is no for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh okay i see what this is i see uh epic rap it's battles no uh, oh it took it. me a minute to realize i was like oh epic rap battles godzilla versus king kong no i have not watched it yet and while i would watch it here since we're on youtube my that shit yeah. would get struck and then get removed yeah. it would get removed from uh from yeah, the stream so this uh, part, the Twitch side will be able to to uh, to, to see it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it'll, like, it'll be there. Over there. <laughs> it, 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 it'd be there in almost perpetuity. Mm-hmm. And, and, well, perpetuity in 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 line of uh, how long Twitch keeps vods uh, active. Right. Uh, but no, I I I, I haven't watched it. Uh, but now that you've mentioned it, I will watch it. 
mm-hmm. uh, because I like nice things. I like nice things. Um, let's see here. Uh, let you know. Let's go ahead and move on to our next thing. We're gonna move on to our next thing. Also, we appreciate you, uh, middle-aged Cal says that we're can't uh, stick around, but just wanted to hop in live chat for a minute and say, get those like, oh man, dude, see this, see this. Okay. First off, this is type of energy I'm talking about. This is type of, this type of energy I'm talking about. Motherfucker came in here and said, you know what? I can't kick it, but you know what? Man, y'all need to get the motherfucking likes up. Dude, that's uh, okay. Look, that's hero shit right there. Okay. That's hero shit. (laughs) <laughs> so I, I likes that. I likes that kind of energy. So you know what, middle aged Cal, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Uh, and I hope you get to catch the vod. I appreciate you coming in and, and giving that love. Um. <laughs> no, oh my god! Wait, why did you just, that <laughs> he said blurs in the Carter Studio uh, Studio map of pay? Hey, 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 hey! Look, look. <laughs> Look, I will not disclose the nature of the business arrangement that Carter and I have, but I will just say I feel I pay Carter a fair price uh, for his time. I mean, uh, I mean, if we're being real, right? Yeah, if we're being real, and this goes for for Chris and I on 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 uh, um, there's a culture. <laughs> Our pay is directly dependent on y'all. So really, it's <laughs> y'all paying this map of pay. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wasn't gonna say it, but uh, I mean, <laughs> it's a map it's all good. It's a, I, w- I would do it for free. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Look, ma- map of without fear. Eh? <laughs> He's like, Look, wait, wait a minute. Everybody be like, see, Blur was talking all that shit Thursday. <laughs> now look at him. He yeah. lived long enough to become the villain. <laughs> can Carter buy blue? Okay, so here's the here's the here's the thing. Carter can buy a DVD player with what I pay. <laughs> Actually, he can buy multiple DVD players. Yeah. With what, matter of fact, yeah. I can tell you right now, Carter uses what I pay him to buy video games sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> like there'll be times he'd be like, like uh, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna get that new Liza P uh, when the Blur Cave check hit. And I'll be like, all right, cool, bet. Oh, are you working in the blur sweatshop for thanks for Thanksgiving plate? <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Y'all got me out here looking like a whole slum lord, like like I be looking like a landlord out here, man. Oh no, no, not nah, look. This is gonna be this is gonna be the thing. Like I, this is this is how I get canceled. That's it. It's not going to be like any Me Too shit. It's not going to be me saying anything racist. It's not going to be me saying anything transphobic, homophobic, or anything like that. It's going to be, man, you hear, uh, man, Blur Without Fear is a landlord. <laughs> man, he, he's, uh, he's out here, man. He's, uh, he's out here, uh, uh running, running sweatshops on the Blur Cave every Saturday. <laughs> Unionized, <Damn>. goddamn! <laughs> damn. <laughs> no cornbread, <laughs> goddamn! Y'all, ain't, y'all ain't shit. Y'all ain't shit. I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all right now. Y'all ain't shit. But I love y'all for it. Uh, we 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 got to bring. We have to. That was the thing. I think we used to have over on the Twitch side. Had the. I used to call my. Um, I used to call my uh, 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 subs over on. Twitch the ain't shit squad. Yeah, we, we're bringing Which that back what? over here. Already <laughs> 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 back to like Peter Parker's landlord. <laughs> damn. Damn. <laughs> like, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, but, but in, in all seriousness, though, in all seriousness, though, uh, no, I, one thing, uh, one thing I will definitely say, and it, it's the reason why I do a lot of stuff myself. Uh, when it comes to like the channel side of my things, because I know I cannot afford to pay people uh, what they uh, what they're worth, uh, depending on what it is. Um, Robo can tell you, Cypher can tell you, Carter can tell you. Uh, there's been multiple times where like the the subject has been broached of having a video editor, and then I look into it and look at like what the prices are, what people are charging, and then looking at my video output, and it becomes one of those deals where here's how it breaks down. It becomes a situation where I can't afford to pay that person what they're worth 
and it, it, it breaks down a couple of ways. It becomes a deal where, man, I can pay you, but I can't, like, use you all the time. That That's the level mm-hmm. I'm at right now, where I can pay a video editor to edit, like, a video for me, like, maybe once every couple of weeks. You know, at maybe twice, maybe maybe once a week at best. Because I tried it for a little bit. And it was cool, but it was it became one of those things where those people wanted more. They wanted more work because video editors don't get a lot of work. And it became one of those deals where we kind of fell apart by the wayside with you know, uh, different people just because I couldn't give them the output that they wanted. Yep. Yep. Uh, and and, and, so, and yeah. I'll use this opportunity just to make a quick pitch for Blurred. Look, everybody has different financial, you know, we, we joke around. We joke around yeah. with, with, with all that stuff, but for real, uh, if yeah, I, I think I've said this before, I'll say it again. If you think this channel, Blur Without Fear, deserves to be bigger, we, you know, I hear people say it all the time. Um, you know, I call it the the Blur Without Fear multiverse, right? Uh, <laughs> if if you think it deserves to be bigger, but you don't have the means to be able to like you know drop in some gearless moto type shit, then uh, <laughs> then you know all you got to do, mm-hmm. for real, is share. Now people people think it's nothing, right? People think it's nothing, but if everybody in here, if two hundred people, two hundred plus people were were liking share every time this thing went live, we're sharing it out there. Um, that shit that shit does wonders. It does yeah. wonders, and it's free. Yeah, no, hundred percent, hundred percent. Uh, even something as simple as liking, even something as simple as clicking the like button. Uh, even something as simple as like you see that share button now, you just click share and say Facebook. Twitter, whatever. Okay, boom, boom. Even if you don't say anything with it, like and I, I see people a lot of times on Twitter, or more on the Twitter side, because I don't, I'm not on Facebook very often. But I see people share my stuff on you know different platforms, and I get notifications about it. And uh, you'd be amazed. Hell, um, the video here, and you know, I, I, I want to show a little inside baseball. I want to show a little inside baseball here. Uh, just, just a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit, just a, a teensy weensy tiny bit i'm gonna pull up my channel you know the channel y'all are watching <laughs> currently and That's i want to sh- man you could you could share it on a uh share it on a uh, uh um what do you call it? damn i'm uh, sorry burping in the mic like you good you good you share it on a uh what do you call them um one of them low-key accounts that's not for real you Oh yeah, yeah. There you go. Just share it on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do it on that. Look, and look. I won't tell. I'll, I'm not. I, I, look, I'll be your dirty little secret. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> but no, I have a uh, the video that I did. Uh, here, let me pull this up. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so the video that I did for uh, you know, debunking the electrical Negro which I thought I did a fantastic job on. Uh, I put a lot of work into that video. That video took me a month uh, to put together uh, and maybe twice as long just doing research and studying. Uh, but here, let's pull this up. I, I, we're we're going to show some, some inside baseball here. So, like here, someone posted the video on <clears throat> Reddit. This video got 44,000 views. That's probably, honestly, 30,000 more than that video would have gotten on its own. Oh. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Oh, Facebook likes. This right here. It got 159 Facebook likes. That means at least a handful of people probably shared it and maybe like some black nerd groups or like, was it uh, Edgebon? They probably got a hold of or something. Maybe, give or take. I don't know. Um, And this is, I mean, honestly, you guys dictate the success of a video more than you may realize. Yeah. Uh like honestly I can make the video I like like that's why I always tell people all the time my I could put out what to me I would believe like oh yeah dude I'm cooking right here man this is hot shit right here dude look look at this hot spit I'm putting out oh man dude oh man oh this this is this easy this is getting like 50k this is getting 50k video 50k like uh you know, 50k views in the first day alone period oh I can't wait and then I put the video out and it's like 
I mean, 5K. <laughs> five, five, 5K. Dude, honestly, I put out a video. Look, I'm going to tell you something. Look, look let, me, let me keep it real with y'all. I put out some videos that only got like 1K. Mm-hmm. And dude, I'm not going to lie to y'all. That shit fucks with me for a while. Like, I, I get sick. Like, I feel physically nauseous and ill when I put out a video I put a lot of work into and, like, it doesn't resonate. And not, I'm not blaming anyone but myself for that part. Because, like, you know, I cop to it. Maybe I didn't make it as interesting as I thought I did. But even when I put out something that's not even my 100% best work, if it succeeds on any level, it's not because of anything I did. It's because of something y'all did. Uh, you either whether it was liking the video, sharing the video, or just how long you watched the video in one sitting. Like, a lot of people don't realize, like, I mean, it, it's something, it, you know, funny story. You want to talk about learning whether or not you're a kingmaker? I learned that shit. I was joking with Robo about this the other day. I learned that, I was like, oh, shit. When I, I said something, which I didn't think was wrong, oh, yeah. but... I criticized, uh, 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 here, let me tell you, we're not talking about Naruto anymore. I criticized, uh, the upcoming new Ultimates comic. I'm bare back. Oh, yeah, handy business, handy business. Um, I criticized, I'm gonna give myself the one just for a moment. I criticized the upcoming Ultimates comic for being incredibly white. Like, uh, I don't think I have the cover in front of me currently. I don't think I saved it. Uh, and and I'll, I'll pull it up because I want you guys to see it. I want you guys to see this shit. I want you to see why. I want you to see why I said what I said. So this new Ultimates book, uh, which, to be fair, is got a, a solid creative team on it, if nothing. It's got a solid-ass creative team on it. Uh, and here, let's zoom this in a little bit, because I just, I just want to share this. Okay, so here it is. This is the team. It's going to be uh, Giant Man, Doctor Doom, which is Reed Richards, because uh, this is Ultimate Universe, Earth 6160, not 616. Uh, Thor, Wasp. We've also got Captain America, Sif, and uh, Iron Lad, which is uh, Tony Stark. This team is so white, it is not even funny. This is, you know, when I, when I talk about how uh, people criticize me for wanting to make an all-black X-Men, uh, uh, it, it's, it's, it's crazy to me when people would say, that's racist. But they're perfectly okay. They're like the same people who called me racist for... Saying, hey, we should have an all-black X-Men. When this shit drop, crickets. Crickets. They're like, yeah, yeah, no, nah, this is heat. This is heat right here. This, no, 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 no. This is, yeah, yeah, no, nah, this is that heat. This, this, is that, this is that good shit right here. This is that good shit right here. And it, 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 it makes me, it makes me sad. Uh, it makes me very sad. Uh, uh, the, oh, we got him back. We got him back. Uh, but no, it makes me sad, uh, that, that people look at it this way. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you see this right here? You see this, you see this, this fucking cover and you see nothing but like, let's see this. Let's count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven white people. That's seven white people on that, on that cover. Yeah, I, I, if you if you think I'm I'm crazy, because like where's the set? Remember, I said Wasp is on there. You gotta zoom in a little bit. She's like right, mm-hmm. right in there. That's seven white folks. No one's complaining uh, ab- about that. It, it, like you know, like in in the way not a Pete, not a, not a Pete, not mm-hmm. a Pete. But I'm the racist for saying, hey, we should have an all black X Men. But you're okay with having an all white superhero team. That tells me everything I need to know about you as a person. Just yep. just that right there. So, yeah, but in my criticism of it, in my criticism of it, uh <laughs> the um a a person who works on the book 
And when I say a person, I mean the person who is writing it. The person who is writing the book, they responded to my tweet. And it made me realize some shit about myself as a, you know, as, as a, as a whole person. You know what I mean? And I will definitely say that we have, a, we don't realize the type of power we wield sometimes. And here, I want to pull this up just because, you know, I, I, I thought this was incredibly interesting. Here, I'm going to zoom this out just a little bit just so it can be seen. But, um... <laughs> this is what I said about it. I said, and here, you know what? Let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. So, you know, there, there, there's no mistaking what I said. Here, let's, let's, let's zoom this puppy in. I said, this ultimate team is white as fuck, boy. Like white with woo. <laughs> Imagine going to a Baskin Robbins with 30 plus uh, flavors and all of them are just more vanilla. Now, let me scroll down. If this name looks familiar, Denise Camp. This is the same gentleman uh, who wrote uh, one of the recent uh, Bloodshot uh, comics at Valiant. Uh, also wrote a comic that I gave high praise to on the channel, Children of the Vault. Uh, Children of the Vault, number one through four, that was Denise Camp. And, and, and Denise Camp has written lots of other things. But uh, he, he responded. He said, I completely understand your concern. It's very valid. I just ask that you give us the first arc. And apologize for jumping into the mentions. Uh, which, to be fair, uh, Robo uh, uh, said said this perfectly. He, he disarmed me with politeness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was true, because after that, like, after that part, like, everything was cordial. Like, it, it wasn't yeah. like, no, 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 man, fuck you. Fuck you, yeah. man. Me, I cook your <laughs> shit. No, it wasn't, it wasn't nothing like that. It was just like, oh, no, no, okay, I totally get it. Like, I was like, yeah, it is what it is. And, and honestly, you know, yeah. that, that, that was honestly one of the, the more pleasant interactions I've had with uh, creators when I criticize their work now to and be if fair it matters, yeah if, if it matters he's mm -hmm. half turkish half filipino right right and like i said this isn't maybe, like a maybe, uh, maybe it'll go somewhere better i don't know <laughs> well here's the thing i it's still with, valid criticism I yeah mean, no regardless of where it goes i mean come on right no and, and here's the thing mm -hmm. and, and he's and like i said he he said just that he said the he said the criticism the concern all of it was valid and one thing he said that actually was very telling, and you know, a thing Carter likes to say here on the show, that uh, uh, yeah, he always says, you know, he said it without saying it. Denise Cam pretty much said he didn't pick the team. I mean, he didn't mm. say that he didn't pick the team, because I'm going to tell you right now, Jonathan Hickman picked the team. Mm -hmm. Denise Camp is just writing it, because Jonathan Hickman oversees the entirety of the Ultimate Universe. Mm -hmm. That team was picked before Denise Camp was probably even brought on. Yeah. So, and Denise Camp has mentioned that it was a concern he had when he took on the book. Now, I want you to be, I want to be clear on something. If you have watched any of my videos for Children of the Vault, or if you have read Children of the Vault for yourself, one of the things I highlighted in my videos for it was the social, political, and economic commentary that was in that book. And how... Uh, you know, he specifically called out things, uh, you know, that affected black and brown people and, and, and shined a light on it. So it's one of those things. It's not to say I don't think he's not going to do it. I think and, and something that I, I saw a lot of people echo in uh, the replies was that, well, you know, maybe maybe we're not seeing the whole team. Maybe we're not seeing the whole team, which that creates a whole other problem. Because then I'm like, OK, so in February, you're going to drop a solicit that is not putting your black faces front and center, your brown faces front and center, your and, and, and you know, even outside of February, you're not good. You, you have uh, an indigenous character on the group and you're not going to make sure that people know like you. Why, why would you why would you hide that? That seems like such a strange thing to hide. Um, but that said. Uh, um, Herbert Scott, give us the first art. Goes, y'all gonna get y'all's later in heaven, right? <laughs> <It's fucked up. laughs> like, you know what? I'm not gonna lie. When I looked up and saw it, I was like, 
damn, damn, damn. <laughs> I like I can't I, I can't even criticize I, I can't even criticize it or, or even reply to it or or anything. Just like gearless, <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh my god! Uh, speaking of, let's get to these super chats, man, because we got some. We got we got them backing up on us, uh, as we often tend to do sometimes. <laughs> uh, let's see, man. We got mm, gearless motor with the ooh man, nineteen ninety nine. Then in a super chat says that's unfortunate, but know this: the work ethic you have is something that we do not see often, and is why I do what I can to promote and support this channel. And, and let me just go ahead and say without going any deeper, because uh, I, I don't want to. I don't want to put anybody's business out here because uh, we had some problems uh, in the past uh, uh, with with with, uh, uh, with that sort of thing. All I will say is that it does not require uh you know what i feel is uh uh um uh you know i i know some people might view it this way but like i feel like you know, it doesn't take like herculean strength to to do what y'all do like what y'all do is just so awesome and yet at the same time it looks herculean to see uh, like the fact that like, you know, you clicking that like button, clicking that subscribe button, hitting that notification bell, make sure you don't miss anything, clicking that share button. Like, honestly, I see it like, yeah, yeah. On paper, it's not Herculean, but at the same time it is because it moves mountains. Uh, I guarantee you, anyone who is a YouTube content creator, they will tell you it's their communities that are the reason why they are the size that they are. Uh, this channel is, I think, as of present time, is 92.7 uh, thousand subscribers right now. Uh, working its way towards 93. And, and and in that working his way towards a hundred thousand. I mean, yeah, I do the hard work and make the videos, do the research, all the other shit. But y'all are the reason that that work pays off. Like, I mean, you can make like I've seen tons of content creators with like fire videos that no one watches, and it's because that that they haven't found that community, and so I'm always grateful forever grateful uh honestly uh, I, will, I will say though just to co-sign gearless moto yeah i will say this much it is it's it's only because it's kind of funny on my discord channel mm -hmm. i got a channel called promote yourself right and it's for uh if you're in the if you're a content creator in in, in my discord on the left face discord then you know some of y'all do or auto populate there mm -hmm. okay so like Chris has one again, you know, you know, oh, they'll go up there. Go to my Discord <laughs> and look. <laughs> it's a ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I'm like, all right. And, and, and for all the other content creators that I think, man, I'm trying to get like, I'm trying to go like blurred. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be like blurred. Are you though? Because I mean the promote me channel. Like, <laughs> if you're trying to get like you, you definitely not put it in blurred work. That's that's for damn sure. <laughs> look, I don't look. I'm gonna tell myself just a little bit. There are there are six videos in DaVinci Resolve right now, in varying stages of being edited. <laughs> <laughs> Still though, you may. Shit, that's better than six ideas that right, man, right. Really <laughs> Look, there are there are six videos in DaVinci in my DaVinci Resolve queue that are all like uploaded. They're uh, I don't even tell you what the fuck they are. Shit, I'm not I'm not scared. Uh, I have a video a video about uh, I have two Ninja Turtles videos. One about Jenica, one about Venus de Milo. I have four more t uh, Ninja Turtles videos that are in the uh, the the plotting phase for Shredder and Splinter. I have uh, two videos for our uh, Black History Month stuff, for uh, one for Necra, one for Bishop's uh, Sister Shard. 
Uh, both are recorded. Both are uh, audio edited. I'm just adding images now uh, to the videos for both of those. Uh, there is... Uh, because of the response to the Electrical Negro video, I have put... Uh, I've decided... and I don't know. Maybe you guys will decide this. I don't know. I thought about maybe making... For the first time ever. I know I make big ideas and sometimes I never bank on them. I apologize for that. I, I truly do. Uh, but it's because I usually figure out like later on, like this shit ain't going to work. But because of how people were responding to those videos where I was like kind of sitting down and talking with y'all just one on one about a certain thing, I actually thought about doing that more regularly. And even to one point, uh, creating an actual show that I do every year, but do it like in like seasons where like I'll compile like maybe eight or nine topics and then I'll just release those videos in a year and then take a break from that and then come back later with more. I don't know if y'all would like that or not. Uh, it seems like y'all like the electrical Negro video. So maybe I will do more. Um, but, uh, we've got, uh, was LP three here with a 10 says infinite love to the cave. Happy Saturday. Did we appreciate that? Thank you for that. You, yeah. <sighs> uh, we also got here uh, Blur Club Silver, 18 months in the silver mine with LA Chillin'. Says, What you do is consistently amazing. Great for the culture. We, I, I, I just do what I can, man. I just do what I can. Uh, and I plan to do more, but like I said, like, I. I but to go to the, you know, to, the, to the finer point of it, like, I'm always working on something. <laughs> well that's that's why you don't hear from me very often on social media or like in discord because like i'm always working on something <laughs> and like i said y'all like as gillers moda alluded to earlier y'all help me out in ways y'all like i don't talk about how y'all help me a lot of the time like some of y'all have actually reached out to me personally and have done really nice things for me that I I literally just it blows my mind and I like I don't want to I don't want to make it hot for anybody because we've had it happen before so I'm not gonna name names not gonna say say what but just know that y'all have done tremendous things. Um, <laughs> this is a super chef and I want to highlight it anyway. So Ernie was in his bag with that Undertaker gong on the Wonder Woman number six video. <laughs> Yes, yes, I was. <laughs> uh, but no, uh, I saw someone else ask me something else earlier too. That oh, here it is. Says Ernie, what's your take on Eric July and his obvious Tim Pool grifting? I didn't know he was talking to Tim Pool. Man, you know what's you know what's actually super. Maybe it's the Paris trip. Maybe I would have heard about it. I don't know. Yeah. but it feels nice. <laughs> to have no idea what the fuck Night Parade Dragon Dragon's talking about. I'm yeah. Like, oh wow. I don't know what it is. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh apparently is Tim Pool trying to get in the game? Trying to do some uh comic book making? I guess. I mean that would work for him. I mean, it would. I mean, his audience yeah. would eat that shit up. Uh, you know what? I yeah. tell you what. So Night Parade Dragon, this is something that I'm going to put a pin in. I, I need to look into this so I can talk more intelligently about it. That might mm -hmm. that that is a topic for another day. That's a topic for another day. I actually here. Where's my. I got the pin. We're going to write that down. We are going. Apparently, to apparently he's talked down. to him before. He talked to him this past December. Really? Yeah, well, fighting book comics and all that shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Well, you know what? He just made the list. <laughs> Tim Pool. And yeah, we're gonna call it Tim Pool versus Eric July. The beanie versus <laughs> The uh the the shoulder hair. There we go. I'm about to say. <laughs> that's what that that's what we're gonna call it. that that that's the, the 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 pin has been placed. It's gonna happen. I saw you, I saw you take out the pen. How many of y'all were little kids? I used to see the uh 
the little uh, thing where you would take out a pen and then you would dab it in your tongue because you're about to do something real good. Like, actually, and you yeah. dab it in your tongue and you write something. <laughs> And then I, every time I would try that shit, it would fuck up my pen and it wasn't, wouldn't write anymore. I'm like, that yeah, that from? shit don't work. That shit don't work. <laughs> that, that shit don't work. <laughs> that shit does not fucking work. I don't care what anybody says. That shit does not fucking work. <laughs> um, we got Go Country, his baby's father with a $2 says, that team is wider than the Brady Bunch. <laughs> Talk about the, 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 that ultimate team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean... <laughs> It's a team wider mm-hmm. than the first Cracker Barrel workers. Lord, uh, uh-uh, uh, stop, stop. <laughs> well, it wasn't uh, uh, someone on Twitter. They actually said something really funny about that uh, when I put up. They said, "Oh man, they got more than just vanilla. They got French vanilla. They got classic vanilla. They got uh, they said they got low fat vanilla." <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> I was just like, God damn. And as I was looking, at it, I was like, "Ooh, yeah, I can actually see which one is which too now too." Uh, oh, they got vanilla bean. <laughs> it's like okay all right <laughs> um uh let's see here and then we got a uh, oh wait we got another one here another <clears throat> 1999 <laughs> super chat says i feel guilty because i'm so used to an all-white team i didn't even notice and i'm black which <laughs> which characters of color do you hope join the team um I, honestly I'm going to say something really controversial. None. Because the statement was made very clear by Jonathan Hickman. He didn't want any black characters on that team. So I don't want any. Keep that team as white as the the, the, the white bread in the bag you get your bread out of. I would let that shit. I, look, let the, what was it? Uh, what, what was it? Leonardo DiCaprio son Django. We're going to have white cake. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. Nah. Let that shit stay white cake. Mm-hmm. Cause you know that what? First part though. Yeah. Let's go ahead. Go ahead. Oh no 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 no. Uh, because you, you're. I think you're about to uh, touch on something I was. I was thinking about that first part though. Is 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 kind of important. Is it more more like I know. It's more like a uh, nerds of culture shit, but I will say that uh, that that first part is is important, right? That's yeah. what that's what they want. That's what they want. Yeah. And it's not your fault. Mm-mm. We're all brought up in this together, right? We just, we just kind of like, we just always have to be cognizant of it, fight against it, because that's what they want. That's what, that's what pisses them off so much is when, is when this stops becoming normalized, and um, it's not, it's not, it's not easy to feel guilty about. No, no, not at all. Mm-hmm. And here's the thing: there's a reason why. Uh, there's a reason why we. As you know, black and brown people, people of color in general, we have been trained, for lack of a better way to put it, we have been trained to just accept the status quo. Uh-huh. Um, don't get me wrong. You know, it's not to say that that status quo can be broken or that our training, that programming cannot be broken. But we have been trained to just accept the fact that our superheroes are always going to be mostly white. When in fact, it's not the case. There's tons of black characters. There's tons of black characters I could say. Main characters, media characters, anything, like all of them. Yeah. It's white. That is is the the central character. Everything else is is an accessory to that character. It's the the white dude. Herbert Scott said it. I mean, uh, y'all going to get yours later in heaven, right? And and for y'all who didn't grow up religious, let me just tell y'all, that's a reference to something. It's a reference to, you know, suffering. It's a reference to like the idea that you're going to suffer now, but it's okay. Cause you're going to get there in yours in heaven. Now, yeah. if you want to know more about my religious beliefs, watch left face TV, but I'll just say, <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> Black and brown people are going to get theirs now. If yeah. there is a heaven, cool. We'll get it there too. But none of that. Hey, it's okay. We, we suffer now and get ours later. Nope. Nah. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. Nope. We don't. Not, we don't not, do that. Uh, yeah. We're not doing the status quo anymore. No. Never. Oh, uh, we got what was it? Uh, four ninety nine from L.A. Chili says, "Do you think we'll get interviews uh, uh, with you outside the cave? Uh, with you outside the cave? I would love to see you do a cave from like a comic con and uh, interview current and new writers." So here's the thing. I've actually, I've done it before. Uh, to a limited degree. Uh, 
there's a lot that goes into well not really i'm not gonna sit here and lie and say there's a lot that goes in this shit i just hit the button and i go live but there was there would be a lot that would have to happen correctly for me to be able to do it at a convention no that's different yeah yeah that's different well, yeah because like pre-recorded sure would it be live probably not um that said i will be doing more interviews and those will likely not be on the cave uh mm -hmm. just because i just i respect people enough to recognize that giving up your saturday even if it's only for an hour it can a lot of people's weekends are sacrosanct and what i mean by that if you don't know what that word means it means holy uh special uh to be held in high regard um so i don't expect people to give up their saturday it just it's a, it, it's just who i am i just don't expect it however what i will say is i do however not mind doing interviews um and I also like doing interviews where I can focus a little bit more. Uh, so that's why some of these interviews that are happening, that are that I've announced that they're going to be happening, are happening. Uh, but yeah, uh, just kind of keep it locked. Uh, there are multiple creators who I am in talks with, varying stages of talks. And we're just trying to figure out dates. So, yeah, we're, a we're, live, we're getting there. A live show from, from BlurredCon? That should be dope. <laughs> I would love to do it. I would, I would fucking go. love to you, do it. You and Carter uh, go to BlurredCon. People who can't go to BlurredCon watch you too. I would do it. Crazy. That should be dope. I would do it. I mean, I would. I would do it. It just, it, like I said, it, a lot of things would have to, to line up just right. Mm -hmm. um, let's see here. Uh, We got Gabriel. Oh, man, dude. What are you doing? What are you doing? Gabriel the Dark Knight out here with the 50 bombs says happy Saturday Ernie Robo just showing support for the cave while I am making my paper loving the show thank hey you. we appreciate thank you thank you for that uh man get first off get your paper yeah always <laughs> get your paper paper's important um but yeah just uh whatever you do don't work too hard because I mean yeah hey getting the paper's good but you know don't break your back don't break your back for it um so we got another one here um oh yeah here we go here we go i almost lost it sorry it was uh that cool black nerd with the 999 says did you see the hollywood reporter article confirming avengers 5 name change and marvel says they're soured on majors after ant-man and uh wasp changing uh plans then to a new big bad i've seen the reports i don't know how true any of it is because a lot of the times reports are raw um and it depends on it, it depends on the sources i usually look at the 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 source of the report um if it comes from somebody like a grace randolph i write that shit off immediately uh if it comes from somebody like a we got this covered uh or any of those fake movie accounts out there uh that are copycatting other actual uh movie accounts i always tell people be be wary whatever you so whenever you see something from like a discussing film or um uh uh god I'm blanking on the name of the other one. Uh be careful because there are fake accounts out there that have their avatar and their screen name but just with a letter off. Always be careful of that. Uh cuz I see a lot of people get caught slipping by it. Uh but that said no. I I mean honestly I've also I've also seen the the uh, the news. Uh, was it a uh, Coleman Domingo? Uh, Coleman Domingo was recently asked about whether he has been approached by Marvel, and while he didn't say what they talked about, he said there have been talks. So I mean, it could just as easily be they just recast him. Honestly, I refuse to speculate about it because it's an exercise in futility, and we won't know. 100% until they want us to know. Uh awesome. some yeah, yeah, sometimes we learn shit early like the Pedro Pascal thing and the uh uh was a Vanessa Kirby so on and so forth. A lot of that stuff we knew about for like the past what 5 6 uh some odd months. But still, it could have just as easily not been true. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know. Um so yeah, you you never know. Uh, let's move on to, uh, I've been meaning to move on to the next thing for like, I don't know how long, but I, I went to a diatribe about my, my own bullshit. Uh, Let me, uh <laughs> can, I, can I address something real quick? Oh yeah, go ahead. Shoot, 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 shoot. So, 
Adrian Mendoza says, um, uh, I, I, well, first, Birdner says, wait, did, actually, uh, did Hickman actually say this? Adrian Mendoza says, I can't believe Hickman would say that. Uh, Birdner says, me neither. Um, real quick, no, we're not saying, uh, Bernie's not saying that Hickman said anything. This is no. we're talking about reading into tweets. Say, like, hey, just give it a first arc. You know, you kind of like I, you know, you know who controls this shit. It's not, it's not them. It's gonna be Hickman. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna say something. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, a, it's gonna be a little bit of a hot one. And I need you all <laughs> to realize, I'm not canceling anybody. No, you all read Hickman. I read Hickman. It's great. Everything's great. But I'm gonna let you all know something. Uh, Hickman is not, is not without some, some. Um, some a little bit of dirt or some a little bit of eye, you know, eyebrow raising kind of mm, okay. Like, I would love to know Hickman better. Uh, if you all read Black Monday Murders, which by the way, if you read Black My- Black Monday Murders, that shit is fucking dope. Mm-hmm. It's so good, so good. Uh, unless you're Jewish, and then you start like really reading it, and then you start going. <laughs> Oh, it, I feel like he's using a lot of these uh, protocols of Zionist type shit. Um, like some of the 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 the, the big families that were in charge that, that were also to the God Mammon, and it's like, are they doing the anti Semitic? There's some weird shit out there that yeah. if you guys dig a little bit, um, I'm not exactly. I don't have an opinion on Jonathan Hickman, um, but if somebody were gonna be like, if somebody told me. Hey, did you hear this shit that just went down? There's some uh, some secret you know, letters that were found, and and Hickman saying the N word or whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, I'm telling you, if I heard that news, I wouldn't be like gasp, right? Donny Case says is there's news about Donny Case like that. I would be like, get the fuck out, no yeah. way. John Hickman, I'd be like, yeah, that, uh, I'm not surprised. Like I, I, not- <laughs> yeah, I, I, I personally talked to Donny Cates. I would be incredibly surprised if I discovered he was. Like, yeah, yeah. Like racist. You know, he's a he's a progressive dude. Like we, we just know. Like you just know. <laughs> like just some, I'm yeah. just basing off the work that Jonathan mm-hmm. Hickman does, especially Black Monday Murders. You know, you see Black Monday Mon- Monday Murders, and if he as the as the showrunner, right? You know, so to speak, is you know wants this show this this team to be all white. I mean, I'm like, come on. I'm like, I mean, let, let's. What was a you know I you know, people. I remember my biggest criticism about House of X. Nothing then, happened with Donny Cates. It was an example. No, I was no, no, no. It was an example. Who was, who was very not racist. Sorry. I had to yeah. make sure that was very clear. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no nothing <laughs> happened. Nothing happened. But no, uh, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. My biggest criticism of House of X, mm. Black Mutants took a major fucking backseat to almost every white character in that story. I mean, yeah, Damn. Monet was there. Cool, but Monet is often depicted as damn near light, bright, two shades from white, depending <laughs> on who's depending on who's on the art team. Mm. But yeah, like black people, black mutants as a whole. Like I remember that was one of the things I kept going back and looking at for a story that was very reminiscent of, and I think I even said this in my first video for it. It was very reminiscent of Black Wall Street. Mm. Like, hey, we're gonna you don't like what we're doing, we're gonna take. We're going to take our business elsewhere. We're going to make our own thing. And uh, yeah. See ya. Um, and it's funny to me because having said that, you know, I made a video recently talking about how the X-Men, they act like, you know, Marvel acts like there's only two black mutants in the existence of all mutant kind. So if you're going to have a black mutant on any team, is either going to be Storm or Bishop. Mm. And yeah, every now and again, they'll throw in a new one. Or, you know, another one, but yeah, it always comes back to Storm and Bishop. Mm -hmm. And guess who wasn't in House of X at all? And guess who was barely in it? Mm. Bishop wasn't in it. And Storm, she was really only there for like one issue and just to grandstand, you know, on the resurrection of a bunch of white people. Right. It's like why? Mm. So I'm just saying, you know, for for you know, if you can't if you can't imagine Hickman saying doing something like that or saying something like that, well, 
Yeah. Kill you, kill your heroes. Just kill, kill them early. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and often. <laughs> kill her like like you. It, I don't know. It's just it's funny to me. Like because you it, once again we're conditioned. Because like I just saw somebody I just saw somebody say it. Stellar Avenger. Stellar Avenger just said it. Oh, uh, right here. Says, love that video. Tempo Tempo didn't stand a chance in that X-Men poll. And you want to know why? Uh-huh. Because all the... And, 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 yeah, and I'm not going to put that's, anybody that's on blast. Some pass, that's some passing the buck shit right there. Oh, Marvel yeah. knew what the fuck was going to come out from that. Oh, no, they knew. They, they knew. knew damn well. They put all the diversity, all of the potential diversity in that in poll. And hey, you know what? Hold on. Hold on. Mm-mm. We, we this 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 is a we got him started now. We got this is started. another video. This is another video. Why the X vote racist was fuck. racist <laughs> AF. There you go. That's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a cook. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I I got a witch doctor. My bad. My bad. Mm-hmm. You made me nervous there for a second. I don't oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. He he's got, good. He's okay. He's okay. He got into it. He got into an accident. I yeah. think Ernie, you would know more. Is he is he getting back to riding anytime soon? Or I don't know. I know yeah. he's I know he's been it was a bad you know, accident. It was, yeah. he lost some memories and shit. It was, it was a fun. lot of yeah. t- to tell you how bad it was, he he said himself, so this isn't me like you know, spreading his business. He he actually put this out here publicly that when he was shown some of the things that he wrote. He said it was reading it for the first time. Like it was legitimately him. He didn't say what it was, but it basically told me like, yeah, he's yeah. Damn. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, but no, I, yeah, I, you man, look, y'all, y'all about, y'all about to have me out here cooking. Y'all about to have me out here cooking. Um, why Sp- Donny Case is the best writer of our time. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Look, Storm is the mammy. Damn. Oh, VX2. Damn. Y'all got y'all about to you have, do it. I'm you won't do, do it. No balls. No, nah, I'm gonna do, do it. it. I'm gonna do that shit. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fucking do it. <laughs> that's just like, that's just me really wanting him to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look. Well, but but no, what Stellar Avenger just said right here though. Tempo didn't stand a chance. And I wanna I wanna remind you of something because I, I got receipts. I got fucking receipts, okay? I got fucking receipts. I save everything. Like I have a little, I literally have a whole solid state fucking hard drive mm-hmm. dedicated to what I do, and I want y'all to understand something here. And and I and once again, I want to make sure I am incredibly clear on everything. When I saw the original fucking X vote, when I saw the original fucking X vote. I already knew what time it was. Okay. I already knew what time it was. I had no fucking illusions whatsoever. fucking ever. Um, that was the year. And, 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 and remember this was the year that, uh, uh, who was it? Was it, uh, uh, Polaris, uh, Polaris took the dub. And I want to, here, we're going to bring this up. I want y'all to see this shit because I want y'all to know I'm not bullshitting with y'all. I want you to look at this list. Look at this list of mutants and tell me that this was not set up for failure. Hmm. The entire fucking team of X-Men, that like like the team that, and you know, once again, I'm not trying to make it hot for Jerry Duggan, but I mean, I can't without saying what I'm about to say. Um because I, I I have to say this, otherwise I would be doing my own argument a disservice. So this team was already going to have Jean Grey, Cyclops. It was going to have Rogue. It was going to have Wolverine. It was going to have Sunfire. It was going to have Sing. That, that, that is 100%. Polaris was the outlier. So here is what, you know, scummy ass fucking Marvel did. They said, okay, so any further, so we have, we have two people on the team who aren't white. Good. We did our due diligence. We did our due diligence. We're done. Pack them up, boys. 
We can go home. We don't have to do nothing else. We did it. Nope. We hey. did it. <coughs> we would have done it. I mean, it's just y'all didn't want them. So yeah, I yeah. Like, yeah that, right. Look at this. They put armor. They put sunspot. They put tempo. Forge, who a lot of people tend to forget, is a whole ass fucking Native American, whole ass indigenous man. They said, oh, y'all want some more diversity? You know what they did? This was the equivalent of the Dark Knight, the Joker taking the pool stick, snapping that motherfucker in half, throwing one stick on the ground between three motherfuckers that said, fight for your freedom. Fight. Yeah, fight. Yeah. Fight for your fucking freedom. That's what that was. And you can say that it wasn't, but it fucking was. And if you think differently, I can't help you. You are a person who I am not capable of helping. But that said, I have meandered on this shit for too long that I, mm -hmm. I, I have, we haven't even talked about the shit I came here to cook about. Uh, so we're going to be real quick and concise with this next one. Uh, 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 cause yeah, I don't, honestly, you know, you know what? I'll just, I'll fucking change the thumbnail. I'll change the thumbnail. We're going to, we're just going to change the thumbnail. I'm not, I'm not going to do that one. I, I, I'm going to, I was going to say, I was going to do a, a thing about Invincible and why everyone's freaking out thinking that, uh, Spider-Man is going to be in season two. Um, you know what? I can sum that shit up real fucking quick. Uh, let's just, let's just do that. Cause it, it's, it, it doesn't even bear talking about it. Like sometimes I'm there's gonna, shit. I'm going to, I'm going to be, I'm going to be uh, a person. I'm going to be chat. Just on screen, cause I ain't heard about this. I'm like, what? Oh shit! Okay, well the fuck <laughs> it. We'll, here, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it, and, and you know, we'll 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 see what's up. But so, uh, a person hit up Josh Keaton. I don't know if any if any of y'all know who Josh Keaton is. Uh, Josh Keaton is the voice of the uh, spectacular Spider Man. Uh, this cat right here. The spectacular Spider-Man, the same spectacular Spider-Man that showed up in Across the Spider-Verse, but also like back in uh, was it 2008, I believe, when the uh, the animated series Spectacular Spider-Man was on the air. Josh Keaton was the guy who provided the voice even back then. And recently, just the other day, as a matter of fact, uh, someone hit up Josh Keaton on Twitter and said, hey, Josh Keaton, can you let us know who you're playing and invincible because news got out that Josh Keaton was going to be providing a voice for a character in part two of season two of Invincible. And we know that this is the arc where Invincible faces off with Angstrom Levy or Angstrom Levi or whatever. Um, well, as it turns out, he says, I'm playing a character in one of the episodes. And yeah, that's all he says. Not, not answering the question. Yeah. yeah, no, like kind of dodge the question. The reason why people think this shit, if you are, uh, um, if you're familiar with Invincible, there was an issue of uh, Invincible. Uh, it was a uh, Marvel team up. Marvel team up number 14. Yeah, here it is. Bam, right here. Boom. And this issue takes place in the middle of the fight between Invincible and Angstrom, where Angstrom's like sending him careening through a bunch of different portals. So that got people talking. And, and Carter and I even talked about this before because Carter was of the belief that Spider-Man is not going to show up in the show. And honestly, I don't think he is either. See, I knew, I knew, I knew, mm. I knew you were going to do that. I knew you were going to do that. See, <laughs> I'm, so far you're setting it up. I'm like, okay, so, so you, so you, so you think it is? And I knew you were going to crush me. Like, you know, like, <laughs> he's like why why do you no. think it's not <laughs> well uh, for one they don't have the rights they don't have the rights to spider-man yeah. and sony's not gonna give them up i mean honestly well truth be told if sony were smart they would like they, hey y'all can use it for like a little one-off thing but i'm gonna tell yeah. you what i think is gonna happen i don't think josh keaton is gonna be playing spider-man in this uh uh because this this and i want you to understand this issue is literally Spider-Man and Invincible just hanging out. You know, Spider-Man and Invincible hanging out, like talking, conversing, you know, sharing, you know, their names and blah, 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 their origin stories, their backstories and making fun of each other's names and, you know, uh, uh, you know, stuff like that. But the reason I say what I think is actually going to happen, though, 
what I think is going to be the case is he's not going to play Spider-Man, but he's going to play a character that if you looked at him, you'd be like, mm, that's supposed to be Spider-Man. It's supposed to be Spider-Man like that. that That's what's going to happen. Well, here, let me let me let me throw some. Um, I don't want to say hope. Hope is too strong. Cope. <laughs> yeah. something 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 less realistic than hope um they are doing the amalgam deal again right yeah yeah so, that is true that's true so i think marvel sony could be you know if there's if there's enough money on the table to allow spider-man and it's and it's supposed to match up what you're saying what you told me is in the in the in the fight with with langstrom levi right mm. is that what you said yeah 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 that this happens during that Mm -hmm. timeline matches we have amalgam happening it could happen it could that's just me like just he's like he's like like, no man i'm I'm hoping it gets hope no it's gonna happen man it's gonna happen yeah yeah see right in one episode like now if you had told me Mm. bro they did this for like you know a whole volume it was spider-man and this guy i'm like okay they ain't gonna do that but if it's one off hell if it was like a jump into a, uh, another dimension and there's spider-man right there and like what the fuck and then you know obviously don't say that but you know and then, he, yeah. and then he jumps out of the portal and that was all you saw maybe we get that i don't know well he, here's why i think so so here i want to i want to pull this up because this is actually a panel so man spider. <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's gonna be man spider <laughs> so this is a shot this is from invincible number 33 where the in the incident in question actually takes place there's a point where he's like jumping back and forth between all these different realities uh i think at one point he even goes to the walking dead universe uh but yeah that's okay because hey, he man, owns yeah. that shit like mm-hmm. in the same like just to give you an idea in the same issue he goes to batman the animated series uh, uh, or or just Batman's universe more or less, but like, what is it? Show it. Is it is it actually Batman? It's Batman. That's that that's Batman. Like they're like here. I'll pull it back oh, up. Okay. Yeah, he says no. I mean, you dress like a bat, and your name is. I mean, don't you, you think that's kind of lazy? He's like, never mind. I've already had this conversation once today. <laughs> but is that all you see? Is that this seems like the ending of this that is, one image deal mm-hmm. where when we're, what is it? What am I thinking of? Uh, is this Spawn? What is it? Where at the end, all the all the superhero? No, no, no. It was Donny Cates. It's crossover. It was crossover. Crossover. Where they're all in 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 jail and shit. Mm-hmm. And you and you're like, you know who they are, but they didn't name them. It they sounds like that's them. what they did here with, yeah. with Batman, right? Yeah, okay. it's yeah, it's Batman, but they didn't call him by name. Like, but like, mm-hmm. but based on like an earlier part in the comic, you're like, okay, yeah, he's talking about Batman because he, he's he's calling back to. Uh, oh yeah, Spawn did it too. Yeah, you could see all their yeah. hands hanging out. Crossover of the was kind of like doing a homage to to to, to that to right because the they That's did it on a like. bigger scale where it was like uh-huh. every fucking body. Uh-huh. Uh, but no, in this one, it's uh, Spider Man. Like you can see here, like he straight com- up. Yeah, he comes out of the the uh, portal. Spider Man's <laughs> hands right there. He's like, whoa, and he's yeah. That's clearly supposed to be Doctor Octopus. Uh, mm. it, like it, it's if it ain't obvious, I don't know how it isn't. Uh, and this is when that Marvel team up number 14 comes into play. This is why people think that Spider-Man is going to show up in some capacity. But the reason why I'm kind of putting cold water on is because I don't think it'll actually be Spider-Man, even regardless of who has the rights or the limited amount of time. If it is Spider-Man, I will fucking cheer and like jump off my chair and shout to the rooftops in the middle of the fucking night and wake my whole fucking family up just like everybody else will. But I'm not, I just want to make sure people understand it may not go exactly the way you think it will. Like, I think it will, but not exactly how you think it will. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Um, yeah, he'll be like Captain Arachnid or like Arachnid Knight or Man Spider or, or Spider Dude or Arachnid Man. It'll be like, it'll be something that's derivative, but like, yeah, not exactly you know what i'm you know what i'm saying you know what would be dope here's what i want all right I'm, somewhere between my unrealistic hope <laughs> and your and, and, and your cold water yeah <laughs> i'm gonna go i'm gonna go with this what if they did something like they did in that spawn deal or like they did in that, that okay that batman where it's like he falls into this deal and and he's like you know he has a spider web on him or something and there's like a like a, a blur like and you hear that character the voice actor say right what are you doing here and it's like what the 
what kind of costume is that? And then he falls into the portal, and then the adventure right. keeps going. That's all you got to see, but she never got to see their character or him called Spider Man. I would, yeah, no, I, I would. You know what? Honestly, I'd be perfectly okay with that. I would yeah. be perfectly oh fucking okay with that. That is, excuse me, Juan. That would be perfect. I would be, yeah, I'd be perfectly fucking fine with that. Brutal, uh, brutal. And here, I just to pull this up, I want to show people, that's like, a, just in yeah, case, just in case anyone wants to know what I'm talking about. This is from Spawn. Uh, uh, this was I forget which issue number it was, but it was early. I think it was like Spawn six or seven or something like that. But uh, yeah, you can see it right here. All these different hands in here, like, and they even say they don't say the names. They say, oh, champions, Watchmen, uh -huh. Avengers, of Defenders, yeah, Men of Steel, <laughs> Gods of Thunder, Women of Tomorrow, Crusaders. They never say like the actual names, but they can use the 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 callings of them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, and like you you look at these hands and it's obvious who they all are. Yeah. It's Spider obvious. Spawn number 10. Spawn number 10. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it, this is, yeah, this is, this is what you know, everyone's talking about. This is like, and honestly, yeah, you can kind of get away with this because here it's not really copyright. Like mm -hmm. it's a, it's a copyright gray area. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, getting away from that, Avatar the Last Airbender. I want to talk about that. I'm gonna talk about okay. Avatar the Last Airbender. And uh, uh I'm kind of curious because I've been, mm -hmm. like I said, I've been I've been in a coma the past two days. Yeah. And uh <laughs> and I've and i and I'm almost I'm 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 on and we're good with spoilers. I'm down. Um okay. but I I'm on the last episode, so I'm gonna okay. finish it up after we get off here. I'm not gonna I don't spoil know how anything. You feel about it. I don't uh I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm not gonna spoil it. Uh so here's what I'm gonna say about Avatar. Uh and and I want to I want I'm gonna preface my review of Avatar with something I feel that is going to maybe help everyone understand how I feel about the franchise of Avatar. So that way, anything I say doesn't seem weird. Uh, uh, weird is the uh, weird is the word I will use. Okay, so first and foremost. <sighs> <laughs> Rough Rider. <laughs> I didn't yeah. even know it was out yet. <laughs> damn, he's like, damn, like, <laughs> damn, he's like, God damn, he's like, shit. <laughs> so, I'm gonna be honest here. I'm actually not a fan of the cartoon. Like, at all. Wow. Okay. Uh, like, Starting start off strong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, okay, let me, but let me also, let me, like, because I, I feel this bear saying, I feel, I feel this bear saying, and this is probably going to, this will probably also help people understand why I feel the way I feel about this show, despite the fact that I don't really have a strong love for, uh, uh, um, the original cartoon. And it's because when I saw the original, like, you know, here, I'm going I'm to I'm bring this back up. I'm, I'm, I'm going to bring this back because I, I want this here so we can kind of make it make sense. <laughs> when the original cartoon came out, I was in a very specific place in my life. I just was not interested in watching something that was as, at the time, in my estimation, I felt it was really dumbed down for kids. Like, like, or, or not dumbed down, but I just could tell kids were the target audience. I was not the target audience. I am a guy who at this particular point, I'm already like whole ass into anime. And by that point, I'm not even really that interested in shonen anime, uh, by and large, uh, by the time this comes out. I'm more into like sane in anime where like, you know, it's more geared towards older uh, teenagers and young adults, so on and so forth, uh, and adults in general. Uh, so, like, I like my shit fucking bloody, gory, full of all kinds of, like, wild shit that you just wouldn't see in anything else that's geared for children. So, have, hmm? having said that, have you seen the whole thing? Or I have seen a lot of, of it. I have seen okay. a lot of it. I've still, like, even okay. even though I'm not a huge fan of the show, because of, you know, people I dated at the time, or even just the fact that, you know, my wife, she loves Avatar. Uh, so by proxy, I have seen in varying stages a lot of it. Uh, I only ask that because I feel mm -hmm. like I watched it with my son, mm -hmm. so I'm with you. I can't even get mad at that because would I have watched it if my son hadn't been into it when he was younger? 
Mm-hmm. By now, I've seen it twice. I've seen Korra twice. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm, I, I love the series. Yeah. Um, but I'm with you. Like, I'm like, but I would say, and I, and I wonder mm-hmm. if anybody else agrees, but that four kids thing, that definitely still to this day, to this mm-hmm. day, that will turn me off. Like, I'll yeah. be like, if I didn't need, if I didn't, if I, if I didn't feel I needed to watch Ms. Marvel mm-hmm. for the continuity, I probably wouldn't have watched it. Mm-hmm. Not because of anything else, because I thought it was targeted for a little, like the YA thing. I was like, eh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. I get it. But mm-hmm. I feel like this, if you've ever tried to give it another go, mm-hmm. um, and knowing you, I, I don't, I, I bet you won't, but <laughs> I'm like, no, I've already oh, tried. No. I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> I have I, well, just, just you wait, just you wait. Okay, uh, okay. So, I was gonna say it, I feel mm-hmm. like it ends, it gets deeper as it goes, and the way Avatar ends mm-hmm. was like it gets really fucking like man, that was really fucking good. Um, yeah, but but the first part was super childish. Oh yeah, no first season, one hundred percent. Uh, so and I'm gonna tell you why I feel the way I feel about it because mm-hmm. I always equate first season Airbender to Naruto. Uh, how how yes. how very yes. like like anyone who's ever watched the first 20 30 40 episodes of naruto you probably know what i'm talking about where it's like oh man this is straight up a kid show like straight up and yeah, down 100 yeah. percent goofy go- yeah, 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 yeah 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 super yeah. fucking goofy and here's the thing mm-hmm. uh uh harry potter you know written by mm-hmm. she who shall not be named uh, <laughs> uh, same the, thing same, yeah, deal, same right? thing Harry Potter yeah. starts off very fucking childish. And then right, as it goes, right. it gets, you know, yeah. more adult. It, it, yeah, sure. it grows, it grows up with the audience that 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 it captured. So, mm-hmm. like, don't get me wrong, I am keenly aware that the show gets uh 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 you know more mature as it goes along, which and, and I will admit, having seen episodes from later seasons, I'm perfectly fine with it. It's just that I don't have the level of nostalgia for this show that other people do. That's fair. But I'm going to tell you what I do have nostalgia for. I'm going to tell you what I do have nostalgia for. Cora. Is Cora your shit? Cora is my shit. There you go. Okay. <laughs> cool. I like it. I like it. Because I'm going to t- tell you why. Because Cora came in out the gate swinging. Mm-hmm. Because, and, and you know what? It's one of those things. I feel like Avatar The Last Airbender walked. For me, not for everybody else, but just for me. Core uh, Avatar The Last Airbender walked so the core of The Last Airbender could run. <laughs> right. uh, for me, for me, because, and I and say that, you. yeah, I, I say this because I feel like while Avatar The Last Airbender was a gradual growth from being like a show geared more towards children towards being a show that is geared more towards young adults and older people, mm. Korra, for me, just started off that way. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like it, like because it's like yeah. okay, well, we already got Avatar: The Last Airbender built in fan base. Okay, yeah, those people are all there. Those people are aging up, so we don't have to go back to 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 the basics uh, with Korra. And while yeah, there is some goofiness in there, but like I feel like the tenor, the tone of Korra started mm-hmm. off where I feel Avatar: The Last Airbender ended. So it was easier right. for me to get into Korra, and we also got to remember at the time I had no children. At the time Avatar was out, I had no reason to watch that show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At all. No, I feel you. There was I no feel you. child in my house who was watching it, and I'm just, okay, I'm, ha- I'm going to watch it with you. Like, I didn't yeah. have children in my house until, honestly, after Korra went off the air. But because people kept talking about it so much, and I think I watched it one day, just, it, it happened to come on TV when I was, you know, doing something, maybe playing a video game or something, and it just, it captured my attention. It just did. Yeah, I never, uh, I never did the um, the verses on that. Uh, mm-hmm. When Corey came out, I was hype, mm-hmm. and then uh, you know, me and my son watched that too. Mm-hmm. And I never did the verses. I was like, I was yeah. like, this shit is dope. And like, ah, it's not as cool as this one. I'm like, well, no, I like yeah. that too. And then it's yeah. like, <laughs> this one is this one's way better than this one. I'm like, it's good. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're both, they're both good. <laughs> yeah, I mean. It, it, my only yeah. my only thing for Cora was uh it's super it's super queep. It's super like nitpicky. It's, it's oh yeah, yeah. The only yeah. thing was there is a uh, I wanna say season three. Was it season three or season four when she becomes like ultra mega avatar and okay, yeah. the spare world, I, right? I, mm, I know what you're I talking was about, like, yeah. You ended the series 
on fighting some earth bending fascist dictator. I'm like, I felt like that the way it ended should have been like season three or four. And when she became ultra God avatar, yeah, closing the Close thing, like that, sh- that should have been like the end. Like she made it. That was the ultimate, you know, mode. That was my only the yeah. whole series. Besides that one little thing, I was like, why did they do that? So dope. So hey, dope. You know what it, yeah. you know what it is? You know what it is? It's the Buffy problem. It's mm. the Buffy problem. Because the loads early. <laughs> well, no, so Buffy was supposed to end at season five. It was supposed to be done. Oh, I see. Because Buffy fights a literal fucking god. See? <laughs> Wait, she she fights Glorificus. And Glorificus is a fucking god. She's yeah. literally the antithesis of everything Buffy is. Like, you take Buffy, teenage girl, fighting monsters. You have this fucking badass fucking what I would say is damn near borderline S-tier white woman uh, as a as the fucking <laughs> villain. And she's just kind of like just badass fucking supermodel looking you know villain who's a fucking god. And literally, Buffy can't do shit to her. And it's mm-hmm. like, oh, damn. Okay, you went for fighting the master of vampires to an even more powerful vampire to fighting a fucking Frankenstein to, uh, 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 what was the, what was the fucking, uh, 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 the, I'm trying, I'm trying to remember the fucking villain of season four. I don't know why I'm fucking blanking on, on shit like that. But the point of the matter is you escalated to, to bigger and better threats. And then you bring Buffy back for season six against, all logic, which to be fair, season six is really good in, in parts. But the main bad guy up until Willow turns evil is a bunch of fucking nerds. Willow turns evil? Yeah, yeah, in season six. Yeah, Damn. yeah, she turns it. It's like the last. Is she stay evil? No, no, no. Uh uh-uh. uh. Oh, okay. She, but, but I mean, but that, that part of the season is fucking amazing. Yeah. Like when she turns evil, it's like, dude, she turns into like a. I never even watched the show. I just seen like posters and ads for it. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I totally get it. I think, uh, I think it's on Hulu. Uh, maybe I don't know. I should, I should give it a go. It, I know, like you and uh, a lot of a great people show. talk, 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 talk a lot. About let it. me let me put it like this. Even Carter uh, likes it. <laughs> well. Even Carter likes it. He loves Buffy. Uh, he so, loves ain't like he and I both. He and I bonded over our our shared love for both Buffy and Angel. Uh, okay. Both both shows, uh, but also I, I say all this because mm-hmm. once again, yet another parallel. <coughs> I didn't like Buffy at first. I grew to love Buffy, mm. but because Buffy evolved to a certain point, by the time Angel came along, Angel starts with the same tone that Buffy mm-hmm. was at when I started to like it. So that's why I say you. Know, uh, uh, I say all this, but ultimately, getting to the show itself. Getting to the actual show itself. Yeah, yeah, she went Vegeta. Yeah, Willow went Vegeta. Well, no, she was evil because she was she was whole ass trying to kill Buffy. Uh, she was whole ass trying to kill Buffy. Uh, <laughs> but no, but getting to this show, I have a lot of thoughts. Live action. Lot, live action. The, the, the okay, live action it. version right of the show. Out. Okay. Yeah, yeah, go we're ahead. going right at it. So okay. I'm this show, I felt they did a really good job with the casting of these characters. They didn't whitewash it. They didn't try to... Well, I know... Wait, actually, let me take that back. Let me take that back. There was some criticism, and rightfully so, uh, for the actor who plays uh, Soka, uh, mm-hmm. Ian, uh, Ian Ousley, Owsley. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Uh, oh, it was wet as fuck, though. Yeah, well, okay, so that, that was the criticism. <laughs> Apparently, his talent agency presented him as being mixed race that he came from uh some i forget the name uh, and i'm i don't plan to go into this i'm just saying this just for clarification he was uh-huh. he was cited by his talent agency as being a part of one specific uh indigenous uh native american nation and mm. it is a nation i don't remember the name off the top of my head you can, if you look him up you will find all this shit out uh cuz it's the first thing that gets brought up but um a lot of Cherokee nations recognize that nation as being fraudulent. Right. Uh, and I'm going to say allegedly fraudulent because I don't think it's actually been proven. So, yes, if you wonder why the actor who plays Soka is ridiculously white in a show where it's mostly 
people of Asian descent or Native uh, American descent uh, or, or like some kind of you know, East Age something, something. That is why. But that said, I still feel, even if you take that out of the equation, I feel like uh, the actor who plays uh, Aang, uh, Gordon Cormier, uh, the actress who plays Katara, uh, whose name is uh, Gia Wendio, uh, she is amazing as Katara. I think she did a fantastic fucking job portraying this character. Uh, Soka, great. Uh, And also, at the same time, I find him incredibly annoying on the show at the same time because I always thought that Soka was fucking annoying on the cartoon, which was Mm -hmm. honestly, you want to know one of the main reasons I didn't like the fucking show? He was a lot of it. Uh, Oh, really? He was the Xander. Uh, For those who know I'm talking about, (laughs) uh, there's a character on Buffy named Xander, and he is objectively considered the worst character on the show. Uh, It's funny because the actor uh, who plays Xander is also a piece of shit. Whole piece of shit. (laughs) Whole piece of shit. I've met this motherfucker in person. He is fucking terrible. Um, But that part don't fucking matter. That part don't fucking matter. Uh, uh, he still does a good job being the character as I remember right. him from the cartoon. So I'm not going to uh, uh, clown him for that, for being it on this. It makes I, you feel how the yeah. character is supposed to make you feel, you know? Right, yeah. right. Like, e- like, even with my less than favorable opinion of the original cartoon, at least as far as, like, its early goings, I recognize that these characters are getting across the emotion, the vibe, all the things that that cartoon was meant to make you feel. I feel those things when I look at those characters in this. Uh, um, uh, I think, uh, oh, and I also don't want to leave out uh, uh, Dallas Liu as uh, Zuko, uh, who does a fantastic job as Zuko. Awesome. Uh, I mean, like, like, dude, like, I, I, I'm, I'm a cook a little bit here in a moment when uh, to talk about him, but just, I, I just want to make sure I make it very clear that despite the fact that I'm not the hugest fan of the original cartoon, I can still set that aside and recognize what I'm supposed to recognize. Um, but yes, Ang's actor Gordon, fantastic, fan fucking tastic. Uh, I when 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 that motherfucker is on the screen, I'm like, that's Ang. I'm like, that's Aang. That's how I remember Aang from, uh, was book one. Right. Uh, as they are called. Uh, I was like, that's him. He has that hopefulness. He has that childlike wonder and whimsy because he, you know, he is a child. Uh, mm-hmm. you know, despite the fact he's over a hundred years old, he is a child because he was frozen in ice. He did not age up with it. it it's kind of like the thing I talked about with Lionel and Thundercats. Just because you're an adult doesn't mean you're not a child. Like you have an adult body, but Lionel is effectively a 10 or 11 year old boy true still but, uh, bird nerd bird nerd iro yeah oh 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 iro no 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 might be might be almost the best cast motherfucker on there it's no so no no. Good. no no it's not even close it's not even close it's not <clears throat> no it, it ain't even a mite it's not even a mite because you know what fuck it i want to talk about it right now oh so good no nah, this motherfucker right here this is why i watched the show like i'm not saying like you oh no i only came to because i knew he was in it but no when i started watching the show when he came on the screen i was like you know how you say people were born to play somebody yeah this motherfucker right here paul sun hyung lee was born to play uncle iroh he is Iro. <laughs> yeah, he is. Yeah, no, motherfucker. Matter of fact, you know, honestly, if they would have put in the cast in the credits, if you looked up on like IMDb and you had it says like, <laughs> oh, here's uh 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 you know Paul Sun Hung Yi- uh, Lee, uh who did he play? Oh, he played Uncle Iro. No, it's this Uncle Iro as Uncle Iro. No, that, 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 that's yeah, who he is. Yeah. He's the he's the uh, uh the. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. of, of Uncle Iro. <laughs> yeah, no, no, he, no, he, a hundred percent is. He, he, like, it's like, dude, who, who do you get to play Tony Stark? Right, Tony Stark. That's right, that's, that's his name, right? right? Yeah, no, no, you mean Robert Downey Jr. No, no, his name's Tony Stark. Nah, that's Tony Stark. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, can I watch the live action if I've never seen the cartoon? Yes, because it's literally yeah. in. So, okay, to give you an idea, this for and because you know what, I made a, I made a mistake. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me backtrack. I made a mistake. If you, because I, I made the mistake of assuming everyone, because it's kind of a, a cultural touchstone, I just kind of assumed everyone knew what I was you know, was going to be talking about. So let me make this clear. Excuse me. If you have never seen Avatar The Last Airbender, the original cartoon, you've never seen Korra The Last Airbender, let me help you out. So basically what this story is about is about a young boy by the name of Aang 
who is an airbender, who comes from a time when airbenders were incredibly fucking common. Um, and the show kind of does this a little bit out of order, but I kind of get why they did it. But the point of the matter is, is that Aang, the reason why the show is called Avatar The Last Airbender is because all the other airbenders are wiped out by the Fire Nation. And the Fire Nation is a, a, a nation, as you might imagine, of people where you, you talk about airbenders. Well, these are firebenders. And there's also earthbenders, waterbenders. There's different nations and so on and so forth and, and settlements, whatnot, what have you. But Aang gets frozen in ice. And he's trapped in that ice for 100 years or so. And by the time that he is brought out of the ice, he's kind of like a Captain America in that regard. Uh, the world is completely different than what he remembers it. He did not age while he was in the ice. He is still the young boy that he was when he was trapped in it. And the the world is so alien to him now that, you know, oh, the Fire Nation's taking over. Wait a minute. I used to have, I used to be friends with the Fire Nation. What, what What's going on? Like, what's happening? And, and, and it's, it's all a story about Aang, who now is the last airbender, he is the he is the next in line to be the avatar and he has to go on a journey to master the other arts cuz he never mastered them as a kid so he's having to learn how to master water bending earth bending fire brings, bending so so forth he brings balance to these also that's why everyone's yes. friends with each other and right. so the only way just like the dalai lama the only way for him to be reincarnated is for him to die right and die he got frozen. So for a hundred years, since he didn't die, there was no reincarnation. There was just no avatar. And then when he's thawed out, we see what happens right. when you go a hundred years without an avatar. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, what it says, do they explain the reason that Aang has an arrow on his head? It, it, I mean, they, they, yes and no. Uh, I mean, these are tattoos that all of the, uh, right. like all the different, uh, people had them to some degree or another. Uh, all the all the all the Airbenders yeah. had them. So you yeah. can you can look at it like uh, like the Maori tribe where they have the uh, the tattoos here. Mm. You just you just assume that all the it's Airbenders thing. had had that had that tattoo. It's unique to Aang because he is the last Airbender. Right. He all he's the, the only one Aang. left. Yeah. yeah. He he is the only one left. Therefore. Therefore, he is the only one who has it. It's, it's unique to him now. But the thing is, in the very first episode, and this isn't a spoiler because it's like it's such a throwaway line. They literally mention the tattoo like it comes up uh, just in passing. And you, you, you hear it. You move on. No one's the wiser. Um, but no, they did a very fantastic job. Uh, once again, I got to get back to Uncle Iroh. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, Uncle Iroh is just the goat. Uh, this guy literally is the heart and soul of the show. Uh, the most human fucking moments in the show came from him. Uh, and, and actually, you know, I, I don't want to be, I, I don't want to be dismissive either because uh, Daniel Liu's uh, Zuko was also very, very fucking good. I thought he did a fantastic job uh, be, being a, a shit ass character that mm -hmm. and if you're familiar with the show, I'm not spoiling anything for you, but being a being a shit ass character, being an antagonist, or I would even call him an antagonist, more of a rival to Aang and also, you know, showing you that he's not. He's not the person you might think he is on paper if you're not familiar with him. I, I like that he was able to get that across. And honestly, once again, while this is also in. Uh, uh, a, a testament to his acting ability, to Daniel Liu's acting ability, it is also a testament to this motherfucker who is sitting right across from him the majority of the time. Yeah. Uh, uh, Uncle Iroh is carrying this franchise almost entirely on his back uh, because he just, he gets it. He gets it. He understood the assignment. Uh, uh, he, he understands the assignment uh, and... It just, yeah, it, it honestly, and to the point that, you know, Robo made earlier, being reminded that he was one of the characters I liked from the cartoon originally, whenever I did watch it, he was one of the characters that resonated with me. It made me go, 
man, let me go back and watch this shit again. Just make sure I ain't crazy. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, like, cause I love, like, here's the thing. I love Korra. It, mm. There is no greater testament to how much you love something than owning it on fucking Blu-ray. Mm. I own Korra in its entirety on Blu-ray when it was readily available to fucking watch on fucking Netflix. Okay. Appa's perfect. Jonathan Stewart, Appa is oh flawless. Flawless. Chef's fucking kiss. How uh, we look at Iro as an as the actor, yes. I, I, well, whatever this dude's name is, as the oh, as yeah. the person born to play Iro, Uncle Iro. Yes, those CGI artists, you need to put them in a room and they go. You got to give them all their flowers because yeah. they nailed it. Nailed the, it. I, honestly, I'm gonna tell you right now, they blew the budget on Appa. Mm. I'm gonna just go ahead and tell you right now, they, <laughs> they blew the budget on Appa. I, I'm just gonna be, I'm yeah. gonna be real with you about it. Um, yeah. um and and I say this because. While I love the show, it is not without its criticisms. It is not without its criticisms. Uh, uh, the special effects being one of them. I think the special effects, by and large, are pretty damn good. There are some moments, though, where I can see that Appa got the lion's share of it. And he should, rightfully so. Um, yeah. Probably the only one that just took me completely out of the show, though. Like I said, there were, there were some sus moments in there, CG-wise. Like I said, they're few and far between. But the most jarring one, and I don't know if you caught this, Robo, uh, but when the character June, uh, or, or I guess I guess that's her name. I don't know. I assume that's her name. Her name is June uh, or something. That's what it is to me. Could be June A for all I know. Um, when that character, the bounty hunter, when she shows up. Yeah. And she's getting off of Nyla, the, the, the fucking monster beast, whatever the fuck it is that uh -huh. she has. There's a part the, where the she... The mole wolf thing? Yeah, the mole, yeah. <laughs> When she jumps off of it, there's a stutter in the moment that she gets off of it. Like, oh, it's shit. almost like, a, like it's a, I don't know how to describe it, but like when she, she's sitting on Nyla and then she kind of like slides off. And when she slides off, she kind of does this like uh, uh, thing. And it's like, what it's are you? Look it. Yeah, it, it's, I forget. I think it's like episode five or six or whatever, but like, it looked weird because it looked like she landed on something that wasn't there first before she touched the ground. Like Ooh. it was like she jumped off. There's nothing there for her to like bounce off of. Like, cause there's nothing directly underneath it, but she just jumps and like boop, boop. And like, there's like a stutter. And like I said, by and large, not the worst thing in the world, but just, it, it made it obvious to me how they did it. Like, I thought you were going to talk about the episode one where he was, um, where he comes flying in which I know pissed off a lot of people. Okay, yeah, but, uh, that was kind of weird. I feel like that was kind of cheesy. I was like, yeah. but you know what I wrote that off as? I wrote that off as this. First mm. of all, like you said already, yeah, the, the, the special effects, for the most part, were really fucking good. Really good. There were oh, some yeah. shitty parts, but him flying in on that episode one was like, it was kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, but I'm like, eh, it's Netflix. You know, it's not, it's not, a, it's not a blockbuster movie. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I want to thank you. Zeke said it. It looked What's like up? they skipped a few frames. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. It look but here, but here's the thing though. The actress I and in, in, in here, I want to make sure I give her uh I want to make sure I give her her flowers as well. Uh Arden Cho, she was fantastic. She did a good job. Uh she's not in the show, but for like a hot New York minute, and she gets the fuck up out. Uh matter of fact, uh you can see her in the background of this shot right here. Uh, that, I, that I'm pulling up. You can see her right here. Uh, you know, she she pops up like she's she's there for the time that she's there, and she's effective in her role, and she does a fantastic job. And and everybody else for the most part did a good job as well. There are a few people who I didn't like. Uh, the, these might be controversial. I don't know. Uh, but uh, Danny Pudi, who played uh the mechanist, <laughs> Abed. <laughs> yeah, Abed. I did because I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> Because I felt like he was just being Abed, but just mm. in a more serious thing. Like it's one. It's the way he delivers lines. I just, I was like, mm. I was like, I don't like this. I, I was like, no. y'all are. I was like, I, like I, I, I like him, but yeah. I didn't like him in that role. I was like, I, I feel like y'all, okay. y'all. I feel like y'all could have picked somebody else. I, I was like, there's somebody else y'all probably could have got for this, and it would have been better. And it might be, you know, I could be honest. It might be how much I love Abed. Mm -hmm. And I was like, aha, that's Abed. And that feeling yeah. of like, oh shit. Like, you oh, know, wait a minute. Yeah. In the morning. Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. no, 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 no. 
I, I, well, I maybe totally, you're right. Maybe 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 that I totally that joy. To that. I, like, I will totally cop to but that. Was he the best? Was he the best? I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> um, here was uh, there was another one too. Uh, and 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 this one I think has more to do with the fact that I don't like how they went with this one. It was it was done incredibly strange. And I, like I said, I'll, I'll, and if I'm crazy, if, if people are out here saying that, man, no, nah, that's Cap, dude. This dude was, is killing it. Uh, but uh, Boomy, uh, Boomy's actor, I wasn't crazy about him. Uh, and and I want to make sure I'm clear when I say this. I have seen uh, Ukarsh Ambu, uh, Ambukar and other things that I have loved him in. But this, he was hamming it up too much. And I get why, because, you know, this is supposed to be a guy who's like really old. He's been, you know, he, he's been alive since, you know, before Aang went in the ice or, you know, whatever. So like, but he still is like kind of a child at heart, but he's a child at heart who grew up to uh, have to be a hardened leader. So like, so there's, you can tell there's maybe some, there might be some senility in there somewhere, possibly who knows, but like you have a very young man, a guy who I think, I think, I think Ukarsh is in his like twenties playing a guy who's like clearly over a hundred <laughs> mm-hmm. and it just, it, the way he plays it, like he, he's like, I'm doing the old man voice. <laughs> yeah. You know, I was like, Ugh. I think, I think what the problem is there is, is it, it mm-hmm. goes back to what you were saying about the first the animated series for you Yeah, was he actually did a really good job. Mm hmm playing the character the animated version of the character which is made for kids mm-hmm. so we we got this little silly like <laughs> i'm a crazy and it's like a it's like i'm with you actually on that because yeah. it's like okay the tone of the show isn't that then you made him like bar for bar and it's like it kind of didn't fit didn't fit anymore like i wish yeah. they had made him kooky yeah. but less cartoonish yeah not for you no no and, and and i see a lot of people say it like but uh uh because I, I, I think i saw someone here say uh uh yeah burner said i think amashu uh episode was my most disliked and, and here's the thing i've actually heard a lot of people say that you're not the only one i've heard a lot of people say they don't like the omashu stuff because and i and i actually looked this up apparently uh they took some liberties uh with this uh there were a lot of things that were done out of order like the stuff with jet like that stuff's supposed to happen like way fucking later uh the stuff with um uh soka and uh uh katara in the secret tunnel was actually supposed to be uh ang and katara and they 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 kind of mix that up like yeah they did a lot of mixing and matching so like I said it, it it is what it is, um but yeah I see uh Anthony I'm about I'm gonna get to yours here in just a moment um I see yours uh yeah I see yours I'm I, I'm gonna address this here in just a moment it, it's just there's a couple of thoughts I want to get out of my head first before I lose them uh I don't I don't want to lose them um uh speaking of losing things. Uh, okay. Oh, my other one, my other one, my other complaint, my other complaint, as far as actors go, mm-hmm. uh, as far as actors go, I was not a fan of, uh, Ken Lung, uh, as Commander Zhao. That dude was one mustache twirl. Uh, once again, this probably goes back to, he was playing the character from the show and he, he played, he played the character the way the character was depicted on the cartoon <laughs> and that's fine. But there were moments where like his line delivery, I was like, bruh, bro, nah, one in the same me and you are, mm. are mind melded there. <laughs> I, I was, I was a little, I was, I was off in another word cause I wanted to try to get a clip of mm. that, of her coming off the little, Oh, off the little yeah. route wolf. I saw exactly what you're talking about, but the the screen grab blocked me. Oh, uh, so I'm like, I gotta start OBS. But anyways, I'm back in it. I'm back in the show right at the right time because I'm telling you, I thought the same exact thing. Like yeah. when he got the orders to uh to you know, away from from Prince Oku, right? Mm-hmm. Where it was like, where it was like, oh, I'm in charge. And I was like, and 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 I. And I, we have some personnel changes to talk about. And it was just like, yeah. I was like, bro, nah, I, was like, I don't I like that. that. Yeah, it's cringe. He, yeah, yeah, he yeah. was, he, he was the epitome of a mustache twirling villain to me. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like when I say mustache twirling villain, you look that shit up in the dictionary. It'd be, here's the 
thing. I'm not shitting on Ken Lung because he is no. a good actor. I have seen him in tons of other things. The man has the capacity to do good line reads, but this, yeah. I feel like they were like, and here, you know what? I'm going to be charitable. I'm a lot gonna, of this was the director's fault, too. Yeah, no. Like he he could have said it the way we wanted him to yeah. say it at first. And he's like, and the director's like, nah, I want something else. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, I, I guarantee you, that line you were talking about was like, there's going to be some. You know, I guarantee you, the first time he said it, it probably read something like, there's going to be some personnel changes. That's probably, right. probably something close to that. But like, right. the director's like, nah, man, I need you to give me some more, man. Ham it up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how about this? Um, there's going to be some personnel changes. I, you know, I actually, I like that, but uh, can you, can you give me just all like all, a little more closer together? And, and he's like, there's going to be some personnel changes. Yeah. And it's like, okay. He's like, that's the one. That's the take cut. And the, and the, <laughs> and the actor himself is like, uh, I mean, okay, that's All what right, you want. <laughs> he's like, look, man. Hey, look, look, he, look, this man gets on the phone with his agent. He's like, did the check clear? Yeah, okay. All I'll right, say, it cleared. I, I mean, say, that's my job. I mean, look, look. I mean, shit. I ain't gonna look. I, I, I ain't gonna turn hey. down nothing but my collar. But you know, uh, <laughs> but no. Uh, but getting back to it. Um, beyond that, I feel like this adapts the cartoon to my estimation. Is it perfect? No. But is it perfect? For me, mm -hmm. yes. Like, I would be completely okay with talking to y'all face-to-face in a comic book shop or at like a Dunkin' Donuts or a Starbucks or McDonald's or wherever, wherever nerds fucking meet these days. And if y'all said, if y'all... The uh, internet. <laughs> yeah, like on the internet, like, yeah, if, if I said, man, I really think they did a great job with this fucking Avatar The Last Airbender. I feel like they perfectly encapsulated the vibe of the show. And if someone came mm -hmm. to me and said... Nah, it's trash. They completely missed the point. I would be like, mm, I mean, that's your opinion. Yeah. I mean, and, and to be fair, I, like I said, I'm not the hugest fan. I've seen, a, like, I, once again, I have not watched every single fucking episode of Avatar The Last Airbender. But I have watched a lot of episodes to where when I'm watching it, I'm not lost. I know exactly what they're doing. I know where they're going. Right. I get it. I understand the assignment, and I feel like if that's the case, yeah. Like, it, 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 what Elite X1 just said right here, just said right here, could have been 10 episodes, though, so to not rush it. That would be, like, honestly, other than, like, that one dodgy moment on the CG and, like, these actors that I've just mentioned, that's my only other criticism. My only other legitimate criticism that it could have been, if they'd have done 10 episodes, I think it would have, I think maybe they would have stuck the landing a little better. Uh, right. for, for Not for me, not for me, but for people who are like diehard fans of the cartoon. So some of the things, that, what are some of the criticisms that you've heard? Because for me, like, I'm, and this is going to be contradictory to what mm -hmm. I said earlier, but I don't need a beat for beat, bar for bar, mm -hmm. panel for panel. You know no. what I mean? That That's no. just not something that, if you're going to change it up a little bit, I'm okay with that. So is it safe to assume this is way better than M. Night Shyamalan's movie? Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, and then uh, here, Anthony Manzano said, uh, was it blurred? I understand uh, he was only at the beginning of the show. Oop. Oh, wait. I lost him. I lost him. Snake. Snake. Snake! Okay, sorry. Sorry, y'all. I'm silly. Uh, I think I think he, uh, his PC might have crashed. <laughs> I'm familiar with that because it does it to me too sometimes. Uh, he says uh, I understand it was only the beginning of the show, but what are your opinions on the actor who was playing the mentor for Aang in the Air Temple? I thought it was good. I thought it was good. Oh, we got him back. He's back. He's returned. <laughs> um, but uh, um. And, and 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 I will definitely say too, in regards to uh, credit. Oop, there he is. He's back. He's back. Uh, but in in regards to criticisms of the um, in, in in regards to criticisms of some of the acting, I feel like for characters that will return in season two or book two, 
I feel like um I feel like you know in the first season you're finding the voice of the character. And when we get to the second season, that's uh oh, there he is. <laughs> uh when you get to season two, that's when the actors have usually found the voice for the character. If that makes any sense. Uh also, uh what was it? Oh, I didn't mention this. Uh Azula, the the uh the young lady who plays Azula, which is uh, Elizabeth Yu. Uh some people said that they didn't like her as uh Azula. I didn't really have a problem with her. I mean, honestly, I think she's kind of supposed to be petulant. At least that's how I understood the character. I mean, I know she's gone through some stuff. But like, you know, regarding, you know, you know, her mother and how she was treated by her father, Lord, uh, you know, uh, Fire Lord uh, Ozai, which, by the way, real quick, I do want to say uh, Daniel Day Kim did a fantastic job as Fire Lord. I think that's all that really needs to be said. He's not really in the show a super duper mega ultra lot, but I felt he, he did a good job. Uh, he got the point across that I'm not supposed to like him. Uh, oh, we. Wait, there he is. He's back. Maybe. Maybe possibly. I think I got him. Uh, but no. Um, on the show, she's depicted as probably more crazy than any... In the cartoon, she's depicted as more crazy than anything else. Uh, you know, very touched. But I, I thought they did a good job. I did. I, I thought they did a good job with it. Uh, she struck me as someone that was touched. That was not mentally okay. And I think I think that was kind of the point. Um, beyond that, uh, or here I'm gonna do this right now. I think I think yep. Here we go. <laughs> so I'll leave you alone for one minute. You put Robo by spot the audacity. Hey, somebody had to be here. Somebody had to be here to help me out with this. I mean, you know, hey, it is what it is. You had to go get that bag. Uh, but I, yeah, I do agree with the sentiment that Azula should have been saved for uh for season two i do agree with that sentiment uh i i i i agree with that sentiment uh a lot i do wish they would have saved her i feel like shoehorning her in was a bit much or at the very least saving her for the very end like yeah you get where i'm going with this but yeah i feel like uh they 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 did uh uh oh wait i don't know why i hit that one there you go i feel like they they did a weird job with her on that on that regard but that that's all i can say about that uh, uh let's see here oh there it is i think he's back i think maybe i think we found him maybe maybe possibly could be discord's being weird um yeah I, I, no they didn't need they didn't need to push her in there i i feel a little little rough about that uh oh shit he's a yeah, discord discord's fucking on him discord's fucking on him um here let me uh let's see here here oh there it is i think we got it. oh wait does it does it is it is it back i think it's back maybe we'll see it's doing weird stuff discord's not being kind um, but that, that said, uh, I guess, uh, Lost in the Spirit World, <laughs> man, I didn't realize they were going to make, uh, was that episode five or six? I know they were going to make that a real thing. Damn. Uh, no, but that said, uh, I guess real quick, I will say though, uh, just, you know, to kind of cheat the system a little bit, as far as recommendations go, uh, for this week, I will definitely say regardless of my criticisms of the show, I do believe that this show is very, very, very good. And I I highly, highly recommend it. So uh, I liked it a lot. It made me, uh, I think, more of a fan of the original uh, Avatar, just like by, by proxy. And I think it does a fantastic Ooh. job of getting the point across of, uh, uh, of what avatar uh could be i know there were some people that said that they felt it was trying too hard to be like game of thrones i don't see it i don't see it at all uh i don't see the game of thrones isms i mean if anything those game of thrones isms were already in the original cartoon and they were just adapted uh yes it's a little bit more violent than the original like the parts where people are are, are killed i think oh we got him 
I think that's it. Nothing bad has happened yet. Yes, nothing bad's happened. Okay, he's there. Because I think all the other times you froze. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, but you can't hear me. Weird. D hold on, hold on. Oh, wait. No. Oh, let's see here. Things didn't get changed. But yeah. Uh, but no, I, I will definitely say just for, for me, I want to see what they do next. I want to see how they cook up next season. And I think this is this is gonna be one of those I feel like I feel like this is to me personally, I feel like this is the gold standard for adapting a beloved uh animated television series uh you know into live action. To me, this is the goal. I know a lot of people probably want to say one piece. I didn't like One Piece as much as everybody else. I think it did a good job of adapting the source material, but I thought the show looked cheap. It looked cheap, and I, I this did this at no point to me looked cheap. The uh, not in the way that I mean, yeah, there were some wigs that could have been better, but yeah, it didn't look cheap to me in the same way that One Piece looked cheap. Uh, also, yes, you are correct. It, it did look cringe. Uh, the the One Piece live action. It honestly, it killed me with like I I had to be defibbed uh because of how much cringe I I took in. Uh, but that said, uh, that is the recommendations. I'm gonna run through our questions from the Discord real quick while we uh troubleshoot what's going on. Uh, with Robo. Uh, real quick says uh, this is from uh Q Doma. Uh, Q Doma says, uh, greetings. Blurred and Card says, hope you had a good weekday without too many problems. Do you remember the X Men Adventure comics? Uh, they were based on the 90s X Men show on TV and not to be confused with the real X Men comics. Yes, I do. Uh, some of what people think the X Men are like comes from those books, and I'm sure somebody out there thinks that the, that's the real deal without understanding the difference. What do you think? No, I've said it multiple times. I say it all the time. Uh, there are a lot of people who love the X Men who only really know about the X Men through the animated series and those comics that were adapting the animated a series i say it all the time uh and, and it's not meant to be dismissive but it's just to set an expectation no differently than how i set my expectation with this review when i came in this uh to this review i told y'all i'm not a fan of the original cartoon the way a lot of other people are i don't hate it and i don't even dislike it i just don't love it like i think it's something it's okay if it's on like if, if you if i was in your house and you put on say hey you want to watch Avatar Last Airbender with me, I'd be like, not really, but I mean, yeah, if you put it on, I mean, I'm not going to get up and leave. Like, I'd watch it. I would, it, if it's on in the room with me, I mean, I'm not going to be fucked up about it. I'm not going to, I'm going to be, oh, how dare you? What? There's Avatar in this establishment? <laughs> you know, just get up and leave. But no, I'm not going to do that. Uh, but no, there, there are some people out there that I do feel, um, uh, yeah, I, 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 do, I feel there are some people out there that, you know, they fall into that, that, you know, that situation. And that's why I try and make sure, like, I want y'all to know, I'm not some avatar diehard talking about this. I'm a, I'm a, I'm probably just barely above a filthy casual, uh, just because I have watched a lot of it, just not all of it. Uh, let's see here. Uh, that's one. Uh, let's see here. We got one from Yasuke right here. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. Is this from... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I think this is from the previous Saturday, I think. I think it is. I think it is. Yeah, this is one from the previous Saturday. Let me read this one, because I don't want to, I don't want those to be lost. Um... We got, uh, says, uh, yeah, says, what up, Ernie, and hope y'all are doing well. Uh, what did y'all think of Vengeance of Moon Knight number two? It was hard. I remember at some point you thought the new Moon Knight was Zodiac. After seeing the abilities his new Moon Knight possesses, has your theory changed at all, or are you sticking uh, to it? Ha -ha. Uh, Seamus and I think it might be uh, Randall Specter because he was a uh, Shadow Knight at one point. Uh, maybe I would be willing to concede that point, but considering uh some things that happened in the uh in the previous um oh man in the uh previous thing i'm more leaning towards that i mean once again it could be it could be but i almost feel like i feel like shadow knight would be 
almost too obvious, if that makes any sense. Uh, I feel like it would almost be too obvious. Uh, just because, yeah. But, you know, with the shadow stuff, yeah, maybe. I'd be I'd be willing to give it up. I'd be willing to give it up if that was the case. I mean, he, he, he did show up recently, uh, you know, to some degree or another. Uh, you know, he popped up in the, what was it? Uh, was it Moon Knight? Uh, was it Moon Knight City of the Dead? I believe it was. Yeah, he popped up in Moon Knight City of the Dead. So I'd be willing to, I'd be willing to concede that point. Uh, if it, if it comes out, I would be, I'd be happy to cop to the fact that I'm, I'm incorrect. Uh, next up is going to be, uh, Badman1701 says, question, why didn't you talk about Madam Webb being racist? She could have stopped that black man from dying. Justice for, uh, for Day Day. <laughs> Hashtag justice for Day Day. Well, here's the thing. I mean, maybe, but the thing is she didn't know how our powers work then. So, uh, that's one of those. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not upset about that uh it, it's that was one of those things it was just kind of like mm, it happens uh and then we got uh urban prince of strong style here says uh salutations ernie and carter question what are your thoughts on batman beyond pitch from the creators from the spider-verse and uh spy uh and man wb don't like money they're willing to ride off the coattails of the mcu but draw the line with a spider-verse like batman beyond movie that is all get them likes up and y'all have a blessed day. Here's the thing uh, with that. I thought it was okay. Uh, I mean, it looks cool. But here's the thing. <laughs> see, <laughs> see my original statement about Avatar the, the, the Last Airbender. <laughs> I don't have any nostalgia for Batman Beyond. So it being a thing is cool. But I don't really care uh, uh, about Batman Beyond. I, I thought it looked neat. It looked you you pretty badass up oh, there he is hey, can you hear me now again again ah he's back again. he's that back was a, that was a hard reset then a reset to the reset then to oh fix. my god yeah. dude what know, was whatever. that <laughs> well you didn't miss much you, you you didn't miss a whole lot uh but that was did, did you see did you let me ask this did you see the pitch for the Batman Beyond uh, uh, movie that they were talking about wanting to make, the one that was supposed to be like, uh, kind of like, the one that was supposed to kind of look like uh, Into the Spider-Verse, Cross the Spider-Verse, this one right here. Did you see that one? No, I didn't. Okay, so this was a thing that kind of, it, it, it was revealed uh, that some of the people who, I guess, worked on Spider-Verse or somebody else for that matter, they gave a pitch to Warner Brothers for for this a movie that's basically Batman Beyond but animated in the style of you know Spider Verse, mm -hmm. uh, and apparently Warner Brothers said no, like just full Good. stop said no. Good fuck yeah me. yeah. You don't want uh, you don't want you don't want money then do you know. <laughs> I mean that's how I feel somebody about else it. picks it up you know yeah <laughs> well I, somebody oh. like well I feel like. I this feel is like top dog say no. The people who own Batman said no. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah it, it's honestly, excuse me, Walt, I, I'm not heartbroken by it because, like I said, I, I don't give two shits about Batman Beyond. So mm. there's that. Uh, yeah. But I do feel bad for fans of Batman Beyond. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Like I said, Batman Beyond came out at a time where I was literally like, I'm out. <laughs> I, didn't, I never I never really watched Batman Beyond. Mm. I think it was a... Uh an age thing there where like yeah i was i'd fallen out of comics for a little bit then back into comics and yeah. that was in the nether zone <laughs> yeah no that that that's that's pretty much where i was on it um let's see we got uh says uh trap god thanos this will be the last question out of the discord uh says what's up carter blur my question today is kind of cynical do you guys think that comics readers have gotten dumber recently <laughs> that's fucking hilarious <laughs> says uh I, I, and not in a bad way i think it's actually great um i only ask this because these people keep falling for the same old same old every time the cover for the new spider-man series came out this week and it had peter with gwen on it now a reasonable person would think well the promotion for the book shows the jackal is the main villain for the first arc and we all know his main gimmick but no, people deadass believe Marvel is resurrecting Gwen and putting her and Peter back together. Fans seem to have lost 
their critical thinking skills, the future of comic book literacy might be cooked, but not as cooked as y'all lazy ass mofos will be if these motherfucking likes don't start going up. <laughs> so, <laughs> Robo, what do you think? That's a, that's that's a damn good question. Uh, well, I mean, that's a that's a well written question all, all together, from start to finish. I like it. Um, so. I don't think I'm just going to say this much. Um, the answer, the quick answer is no, I don't think readers are getting dumber. Um, I think that as we get older, we like to look backwards with most yeah. of the classes, right? It, it, to say that, that, that readers are getting dumber. It sounds like, you know, like kids these days. And really um, we were all dumb fucks at that age. And I think uh, I think back in the day, the, you know, we 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 fell for for a lot of this dumb shit that that covers would give us. Maybe maybe not all of us, um, but I don't know. I just don't. I don't think that that uh, that anybody's getting dumber. I just think that we're getting to see things with from hindsight now. Yeah, you know I, mean? I do think they're becoming more willfully ignorant though, mm. which I, which which I think is something different. I think I think they're they're being. I think you know what they're being purposefully obtuse. Is 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 what I think is going on here, um, and it's because I remember uh, not too long, not maybe not maybe it was a while ago. Uh, I remember somebody that worked at Marvel talked about how like imagine if Twitter existed uh, during uh, when uh, the the time that the night Gwen Stacy died came out, because oh, they said they got tons of hate mail. They got tons of hate yeah. mail for it. The thing is, yeah. is that Twitter was way slower then because back then Twitter was the letter section at the back of the book. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I they, remember they could choose to not print it too. <laughs> yeah, they could. And I actually, I remember I was actually going back and reading some old Alpha Flight, and I actually saw where like there were people in there that were complaining about North Star being made uh, gay uh, back then. Which, to be fair, he was made gay like a long time ago, mm -hmm. long time ago mm -hmm. before the whole go woke go broke shit. Um, but they were bitching about Miles Morales. Yeah, when they first introduced Miles Morales, mm -hmm. go to the death of Peter Parker and read the subsequent letters after that. No, thank you. No, that shit was they were not happy. No, you. thank you. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I'll throw this one out here too, uh, as well. Uh, my thing with this is is that. Because I actually talk, I, I I saw the the tweets that were going out. I saw someone freak. I was like, oh my god, they're always bringing back Gwen Stacy. Oh, they're always bringing. Oh my god! And what they did is they shared a cover from Judgment Day, and it was an issue where Gwen Stacy was on the cover. And I was like, well, I said just, and, and I want to I want to assure you, this person never responded to me because I feel like what I said completely destroyed their argument. So they just decided to ignore me. And, and not give my logic any oxygen. Mm -hmm. But the cover they were talking about, it was... Oh, lost him again. <laughs> um, but no, the... What ultimately wound up happening is... Gwen Stacy... Gwen Stacy, uh, what they did with her was she was there, but only as a fucking ghost. And not even actual Gwen Stacy's ghost. It was the progenitor modeling themselves after her and then judging Spider-Man because that is one of Peter Parker's greatest failings is Gwen Stacy. And that's what the progenitor did. He usually came to himself as someone, kind of like case of point, Magneto's greatest failing is not being able to save his daughter Anya, which is why when he was judged by the progenitor, it was the progenitor in the guise of Anya giving him the thumbs up. Same as how for Peter Parker, it was Gwen Stacy giving Peter the thumbs up. So yeah, I was like, I was like, this is very disingenuous. This is the same. It was no different to me than, uh, um, uh, was Yellow Flash or Nerd Rotic or somebody who shared the image of uh, you know Superboy, you know John Kent supposedly, you know supposedly uh, proposing to uh, was a Jay Nakamura when in truth it wasn't a wedding ring that Superboy gave Jay. 
it was a fucking Legion flight ring. And they even say, like, he literally, there was a panel right underneath where he cut it off that literally destroyed his entire argument. So, yeah, these people. Uh, but, yeah, anyway. Anyway. Uh, hey, 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 don't sleep on Alpha Flight. Alpha Flight used to go hard. Uh, um, but, yeah, let's uh, also, uh, and y'all you know, might not want to hear this, but Alpha Flight... <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, um Alpha Flight had more black mutants on its team before the X-Men did. Just going to put that out there. Anyway, uh but carrying on. Uh we we used to just have to settle for Storm and then later Bishop. They actually had they they had one more actually than I think uh one or two more actually than uh the X-Men would usually try to have. Uh uh but that said, let's get into our questions from the chat. Uh let's see here. I'm gonna do these real quick because I just want to get in and out. We've got a lot. I've got a lot to do today, so we're just gonna jump into these. Uh let's do John Sturz's question with Black History Month coming to an end and the comments you made earlier about the all-white Avengers. Would you say is uh who would you say is the black superhero Trinity? Doesn't matter the company. Well, I would definitely say Monica Rambo. Uh, I would I would put her in there, but I think it would be the the more obvious one would be Storm. Uh, Storm most certainly. Uh, I feel like uh, uh, that is definitely the one. Black Panther would definitely be the next, uh, and I would probably say like a John Stewart uh, Green Lantern would probably be like the next. That would be my Trinity. Um, let's see here. We got. Uh, Dedrick says, uh, questions. Can you do a video on Superman and magic? It's not a weakness for him. He's just like everybody else. I, I, uh, blah, blah, blah. uh, let's see, uh, a stake through the heart will kill a vampire and it'll kill you too. No, I, I totally, well, here's the thing. I've thought about doing that before. Uh, I mean, truth be told, I've talked about it before in videos with, uh, Superman, uh, involving magic, but, uh, I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll add it to the list. Maybe, maybe I'll add it to the list. We'll see. We'll put it, I'm going to put it a little lower on the list though, just because it's not a, a high priority. Uh, Magic versus Superman debate. Here, we'll call it that. We'll put that on there. That's on the list. But yes, no, I, yeah, I, I've, I've talked about it before. Yeah, Magic, he just doesn't have a, a it's kind of the same thing for uh, uh, a lot of other characters who have Magic as a weakness. Captain Marvel's no different. The only type of energy that Captain Marvel has difficulty absorbing is Magic. Not because, like, she has a specific weakness to it. It's just that she just doesn't. <laughs> uh, let's see here next one is going to be oop, Jerome says question Tim and uh, ours from uh, Valiant briefly discussed who uh, were the best and most overrated uh, directors of our generation Tim thought Christopher Nolan was the best and Snyder for overrated your thoughts I think Christopher I think honestly I think they're mm, man it's going to sound terrible I definitely agree with uh, Zack Snyder I would also say Christopher Nolan while he is a great director I think a lot of people uh, meat glaze him a little bit too much. Uh, C.E. Rue says, did you say all right ultimates or all white? All white. 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 Like so white that uh, it's vanilla ice cream. Uh, let's see, that's one. That's two. That's three. Going back to see if there's any more. Just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Uh, oh, here, here's one from Triple Dot 31 says, uh, Salutations, question, uh, did the Krakoa era happen with Cyclops and Apocalypse in the same area and not mention their Y2, their, uh, their Y2K entanglement? Um, no, I don't think it ever came up. Not to my knowledge. I could be wrong. But, uh, <laughs> I could be wrong. Uh, yeah, I, I, I I'm still forgiven for Tenet. Nah, I don't blame you. I do not blame you. Uh, well, I think that is all the questions, if I'm being brutally honest here. 
Uh, I don't see any more. If there were any, they're so far back that I don't see them, or they do not have question in all caps in the uh in the thing. Uh, let's see here. I'm just double checking myself. Double checking myself. I always like to be certain. I don't never like to make any gross assumptions. Uh, let's see here. Oh, there are some super chats that I did miss though. So let's uh let's get into those. Because we did miss, we actually did miss a few of them. Um, here's one from uh, I, I can't show this one because it just it's so far back. I get it got lost in the sauce when we were talking about Avatar, uh, or maybe even before that. Uh, let's see here it says in an old interview, uh, Hickman has said he doesn't feel comfortable writing black characters. That's why I think he is an overrated writer. That's not an unfair statement. Uh, that's not an unfair statement at all. Uh, I mean, and I think it shows because he doesn't really write. Uh, very many black characters at all and it's probably why and you know like i said i think you know as far as like his work and stuff like that goes i mean i'm not gonna sit here and pretend that his fantastic four isn't great his avengers isn't great i'm not gonna sit here and pretend that his uh house of x wasn't great but i mean to say that a lack of diversity is not his achilles heel would be me just lying you know what i'm saying that would be me just lying. I'd be egregiously fucking lying if that was the case. Uh, uh, Go Contra, his baby's father says, uh, with a $5 super chat, says, Blurred, you got to put on the African Koofy hat when you make that video, please, bro. Oh, t- <laughs> you know what? I'm going to get one. I think I'm going to get one. And I want to give myself the uh, the the glowing red eyes. Uh, with that, that, that might, that, you know what? Here, make a note. Uh... Glowing red eyes and koofy. Yeah, get that. Yeah, done. Count it. Count it. Uh, and then also here we got uh, another one. This is also from Ray's. Uh, Bishop is no longer uh, black slash African-American. He was retconned to being Australian Aborigine uh, years ago. Marvel needs to reverse that stupid retcon. Well, I mean, here's the thing. I don't have a problem with him being Aboriginal uh, because, I mean, to be fair, you know, technically, uh, was it, uh, uh, I, I, I live by the old, uh, uh, I live by the old uh, Paul Mooney-ism um, uh, that they was they, they call Aborigines the the missing link. Uh, they are the missing link to some mo niggas. That's uh, that's how I view them. That's uh, uh, that 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 is that is what I feel about that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, y'all are funny. Is Curran White in the ultimate? Yeah, you know, I tell you what, that's the last question right there. Bam. Carter gets to ask a question. This is, this is, uh, he gets asked a question. Is Curran White in the Ultimates? Well, you know what they say. If it ain't white, it ain't right. And you know what that means, y'all? That means the show is over. The show is over, y'all. We did it. We got through it. I wanted to get out of here before 3.30 hit. That's why, uh, I just kind of speedballed through the whole thing, uh, you know, in this last bit. But yes, uh, keep it locked because there is more content on the way. Uh, some of these things, some of these ideas, that you've given me. I've written them down. I want to make sure it's clear. You probably can't see it because of the light, but I have written them down. I've written them down. They are written. They are written. So yeah, this is, uh, these are things that I'll, uh, I'll be looking into. We'll see. Uh, but that said, thank you. Thank you for all the love, all the positive energy all the good stuff, all the great stuff that uh, y'all have done for me, just not just, you know, in this singular stream, but just period across everything. We've had a great Black History Month. Uh, I do plan to, uh, today, it might not happen today, maybe depends on what else is happening, but uh, another Black History video is either going to release sometime, either, it'll probably, you know what, if I finish it today, it'll come out later today, worst case scenario, it'll come out Sunday, it just, I, I try to have out one a week, but yeah, sometimes, you know, shit just happens. 
Um, but we do have uh, two more of those on the way. The one I just mentioned and one that will come out next week. And I'll probably do like another kind of in-between video just on uh, black history in general. And uh, then we'll do the push for the uh, the new uh, spinoff series that I'm going to uh, try and put together. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but anyway, thank you all so much for all the love. Thank you, uh, Robo, for hanging with me. I know uh, computer was kind of fucking on you a little bit uh, towards the end, but thank you for uh, subbing in. Uh, and... Uh, you know, shout out to all y'all in the chat, uh, the, the chatters, the super chatters, the lurkers, uh, everybody, the, the channel members, the patrons, all of you. Oh, and speaking of, don't think I forgot about you. There is a video I shot for y'all, but somewhere in the middle of it, I just stopped talking while I was drawing. So I'm working on that. Uh, I'm probably going to do like a, a time lapse or something to make up for that. Um, so yeah, don't worry about that. And then there's also more coming on the way. Uh, but that said, for uh, for Carter, who is not here, <laughs> who is in the chat, uh, for Robo of Nerds of Culture, I am the blur without fear. <laughs> and you know what? Just to be funny, Jonathan Hickman, you can go to hell. Bye.